Do you want to know, guys, that I'm dreading to unmoot because Duke found a new toy? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I knew it. I literally, I fucking unmuted myself in OBS. I was like, I'm dreading to unmute because Duke has a new toy. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. I, I that wasn't to... even meant to be as you undeafened. Right. I wanted to add context right. to this. I was calling Koiba. That's not a personal view that I hold. Right. I don't know, man. You said it. <laughs> right. Yeah, you also said I liked you. That doesn't mean it's true. Right, guys. Uh, anyway. Hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, you guys. Welcome to Dungeon Sl I don't even my dice ready, bro. Fuck me. Dumbin so bad. Are we still on the soon screen? Welcome to Dungeon no. Select, guys. How's it going? Hey, it's us, the gang. It is, guys. Um, I don't know where this is going. I'll stop. Uh, <laughs> hope you guys had a great week. Uh, we're here. Yeah. We're back. Um. To each other's notification, forgot about Sunday. Well, hello, Sassy. We're Welcome here for to a minute new calendar. Week it is. Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Wait, Sunday, real quick. Sunday. What's up? Yo. No. Bell, Koiba, and Ethan did all your phones go wee woo wee woo. Yeah, today. it did. Yeah, yeah. we, 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 we spoke we. about it when you were busy making a cup of tea. Koopa. It was actually coffee. And what I wasn't busy making it, I was busy putting clothes on. At 10 past 7. Well, yeah. Yeah, I would it's never do late, coffee yeah. at this time. <laughs> I would never drink caffeine this time. Neither would I, Dutch. It's no point, really. Yeah, neither would I. Yeah, but How long is caffeine taking? It's can... like five hours, right? So it'll be gone by Betty Bye. I have no fucking idea. Depends what time you go to Betty Bye. Uh, I don't go to Betty Bye. Probably in about five hours. <laughs> Something about to put my guy in. Dutch doesn't sleep, he just hangs upside down from the ceiling for 12 hours. Yeah. Lately, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, honestly. Excuse me. I've seen it. Nice. Oh, just God, I feel like you're not sleeping great lately. Though. Yeah, your tweets like, you like, like, like showed up like, yo, bro, I was slept. Woke up like 5 a.m. Like, but it's like, dude. Yeah, no, I, I, last night I slept great because, like, this last few days I've just been That's horrible. Exciting. Last night I slept from like 11 30 and I woke up at 2 p.m. today. It's kind of fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Nice. It's the old 14 hour banger, you know? It's pretty good. Um, Yeah, we're here. Hello, welcome to Dungeon Select. You have any announcements before we get going, before we get into today's shenanigans? Yeah. Um the we had our Nether Deep session yesterday. Their campaign's back and the video is being uploaded to YouTube right now. We're just waiting for the oh. high definition version to be done. So it should be available on my YouTube by the end of Dungeon Select today. So if you missed our session yesterday, you can watch it on my YouTube. We've we've we 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 Oh my god. We have oh a dream, God. and I and you. the stroke begins. <laughs> Dutch, <laughs> earlier just... before stream, Dutch said he's like, Jeff, "Guys, just so you know, I do smell burnt <laughs> toast right now, and I'm not toast. making toast. Oh, so, yeah. Something's happening." Uh, <laughs> let's try that again, yeah. Um, <clears throat> we made it to uh, to Ankarel in 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 that campaign, yeah. and we've got to the part of the campaign where it's like. Here's, you need to farm reputation for this faction so that you can progress your MSQ. Here's some side quests, baby. And I'm here for it, dude. Let's get it. Yeah. My my side quests are like my favorite part of a, of a D&D campaign. The, in the Tomb of Annihilation campaign that I played. Oh my in, God. We have ignored the quest, the, dude. We have, as soon as we left the, bi the big city, we've ignored everything to do with the MSQ. We are just side questing, bro. Good and it's been, it's been lit. It. It's been great. It's been, it's been fun, but also I'm like, what are we sending it to like? <laughs> yeah, are we in a time limit? Is this, this, isn't this bitch dying? Ow, yeah, isn't there like an actual time limit for this? Who gives a shit? Who <laughs> broke it? Fuck her. She's dead anyway. Exactly. <clears throat> Can we side quest to a Rainbow Candy World? Isn't that like mm -hmm. the setting for uh, fucking Dimension 20's new thing or whatever the fuck? It is. Well, the, the world of Calorum <laughs> has a, a kingdom called Candia, which is yeah, like a candy Candia. world. So, yeah. There you go. But it's not the entire setting. It is and there's the, the Dairy Isles. Nice, dude. <laughs> uh, do I have any announcements to do with DS? Uh, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> be a long day. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a very long day. Can't. That wasn't my fault. That was James' fault. No, I'm talking about Duke. <laughs> oh. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> right. Um. I'm trying to think. I don't think of any announcements. So, does anyone else have anything that they want to 
I sorted out my dice bag and found my dice that I thought I was missing. That is all. Man, but your dose bag is Your messer dose bag. <laughs> you guys are so funny! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> God! Oh, dude. Dutch, I think we upset Koiba. Get <laughs> Suffer. Um, Suffer. Perish. Do we, uh, any weird dreams lately, Duke? Fuck it, bro. Let's transition to that one. No, actually. Um, I'm actually. Dude, my sleep schedule is better than it's been in fucking years. I, I'm Don't be um, very jealous. I'm waking up at noon. Dude, who's this guy? It's still kind of fucked waking up at noon. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. absolutely it is. But consistently waking up at noon is better than consistently waking up at like 2 p.m. and then falling back asleep really? till 3 whole, 30 p.m. and then staying in bed till 4 p.m. Of like, oh, if you wake up late, it's like, if you're still having a full functional day after, like, whatever time you wake up, if you still have a schedule where you're then getting shit done, you're living your life, you're doing it, like, who cares what time you wake yeah, up? You I wake up early and I'm still person. lazy as fuck. Exactly. So, what does it matter if you're sleeping until noon? But if you sleep until noon every day, but then you get I'm up. I'm jealous of him, okay? Jealous. Yeah, I just sleep until noon and then play Overwatch for six hours and then. There you go. Productive. <laughs> you know? That's super productive, actually, man. Yeah, I mean, I got diamond in all. That's an announcement. I got diamond in all roles, baby. I'm officially good at the video game. He's officially a fucking loser. Um, who gives fuck. a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like if you're gonna if you're gonna hear some weird things that don't make sense, it's because Duke <laughs> pushes a button and make things appear. All right, I promise. <laughs> you sound like a magician. <laughs> Duke has a new sound toy where he can just take anything we say and within minutes after and use it against head, you. He has that. He's now made it a command it's clip the, that at the a moment's notice he can just play it's the it. Worst. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Koi, are you snacking today, bro? Or are just gonna I got snackies, boys. Ooh, oh, buttons. buttons. Shit. My boy got the try on haul. I got. I got. Three different buns. I did have four, but I got hungry yesterday, so I ate one. Cause I'm like four buns of buns is a little excessive. Yeah, so three is perfect fine. What is the difference between the three bags? One is white things? chocolate. Huh. One is chocolate orange. Fog. And oh. one is white and milk chocolate. Fog. Oh, cool. And then I ate the car. And then I ate the caramel ones. Oh, oh those are the best ones. Yeah, yeah, that's why I ate them because they're fucking. Yeah, they're the best. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll just have to huff the bag instead. It'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, what happened? Any cake for us? <laughs> All right. So last we left off, unless there's anything else anyone else wants to say, do it now so that we can get into the swing of things. Going once, going twice. My car broke. Sold. Huh? Sag. My car broke. Sag. F. Um. Last we left off, the party made it to Stonefall, Brooks's uh, hometown. Uh, on the way there, they had to fight a uh, Chimera, which they uh, used some interesting tactics to take care of, uh, including a banishment spell, among among some other things. But when they got to Stonefall, they met Brooks's dad and uh, found out a little bit more about Brooks's upbringing and his family. Uh, the fact that he has a, an adoptive brother, I suppose, uh, called Lo is it is it it's an Iron L. I keep I forgot. It's an I. I, Yorin, but uh, Ren for short, right? Here we go. Uh, that <clears throat> has he has some kind of uh, condition, some kind of sickness, some kind of ailment that makes him uh, incapable of um, pursuing the the, the 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 magical research and 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 uh, academy that he wanted to pursue until somebody came by and uh, spent some time with with him and and and. Uh, Kelros, and convince them to be allowed to take Ren uh, with him to his home so that he can study magic and also potentially be cured of his uh, predicament. Uh, which uh, turns out that has some kind of connection to Strahd, uh, which is a, a, a cause for some concern. But for now, you guys kind of spent the day um, doing things around town, went to the tavern. Um, Jack spent some time doing some smithing stuff revolving uh, Arcanite. 
and I believe we left off with uh, a nice evening meal prepared by Brooks. So you're all gathered around the table, having a seat as as Brooks is putting all the food on the table. Do you want to go over what you've prepared for uh, the, the gang? <gasps> of course, always. The food Wait. is my passion. What's up? Uh, Elazar and Davy in the down pub. Yeah. Yeah, but we kind of said that like we said first time you've come back for dinner. Yeah, but it's kind of how we ended not. last. Was uh, you guys spent the day at the pub and then? That's a very bold assumption. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't protest last week, so that's what I assumed uh, happened. Oh, I'm a bit in my cups at dinner. the moment. So, what did Brooks uh, make for dinner? Right, Brooks has absolutely raided the house. So first things first. I'm uh, the room. Shut the fuck up. Nice. I'm going to stash 10 gold in the pantry. I'm not going to give it to him directly. I'm just going to put it in the pantry. Um, I have... Well, Brooks will have made some honey roasted ribs, Yum. some pan fried potatoes, some bacon wrapped asparagus, and just some some generic mixed vegetables. Sounds pretty good. I don't know how good a cook Brooks is. Uh, cook Brooks. Cook I don't know. Did he use a cook Brooks? I mean, that was one if you, you want to make a pretty cake. Burger's loud for some reason. Burger's always loud. He's always loud. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, as you as you all sit down, uh, you can you can help yourselves to some food. Kelleros, uh definitely does, and uh, begins eating. And you can tell by his face that he's, like, enjoying it, but doesn't directly want to comment on it. It's still a bit, you know. I'm going to be very, like, taking a very small portion to the thing where I move the food around my plate so that hopefully it looks like I ate something. So it's not weird. <laughs> would, would I dish up for Dagon is the question. Or if you didn't, then I just... I'm, it would look odd if you didn't, right? Like, if you didn't fix her a I plate. I would like to think that Brooks would have asked Dagon during the cooking process. Mm -hmm. what would I just lead up to him, I was like, well, do you think your dad will notice if I'm just not eating and we've been here, like, all day? <laughs> I'll dish up a very small portion. You're on keto? Yeah, I'm, I'm fasting. <laughs> I can only eat when the sun goes down. I'm, yeah. <laughs> She's a vampire. Sun dips below the horizon. <laughs> oh. She is strong. Is there anything you guys would like she to discuss? Um, Kalaros is pretty quiet. He uh, just kind of... It's not used to having guests, let alone this many, and one of them being his son that kind of ran away without mentioning anything. So he doesn't really know... He's in a position of, like, I don't really know how to, how to act or how to behave, so I'm just going to sit here and eat my food and be quiet. <laughs> gonna try and keep the conversation light it's that real awkward like when your hairdressers run out of things to say to you because you've like <laughs> the three things you know about each other you've I'll... talked about so you just over there like sitting full size just I'll, waiting like, for I'll, tee up, I'll tee up jacks to talk about like the shit that he's making or like... just uh, ask him the lecture on anything what yeah, you so much like, face? <laughs> like lecture on how how do ships work? Like what type of ships are there? <laughs> Jax, why don't why don't you explain the <laughs> army you've been tinkering with? Well, I, I can't go into too many specifics because uh, um, intellectual integrity and whatnot. Um, but uh, I've been developing my armor for quite some time now, and. It's capable. I've, I've well, I've made these flying boots for it, and um, you know, uh, I can. Um, uh, well, I have all my um, magical accoutrement stuffed in somewhere. <laughs> um, Did you make that armor yourself? You said. Uh, yes, uh, I've taken um, looks at uh, you know knight's armor to, of course, make it. A little more mobile and not so um, confining, I suppose. 
It's quite impressive. Is it made out of the same stuff you've been tinkering with downstairs? I, I wish it was. Um, no, the stuff downstairs is um, a little out of my normal price range. I don't recognize it. What is it? Um, it's a special um, metal polymer it enchanted a bit, and it's very difficult to work. Is it something not from here? Like, is it from the New World, or...? Um, I don't know if it's specific to the New World. I just know that there is, I believe, at least two pockets where they have found some. Um, but I'm not sure if they found any on this continent or not. Yeah, I, I had a look downstairs and it looked quite it looked quite volatile, so I kind of just left it alone. Oh yes, um, if it's disturbed, it could um explode. And that's hitting what? in the shop under my home right now. Well, you did say I could use your forge, and I'd be happy to pay for the trouble. If you can promise me that it won't blow up my house, it'll be fine, but... Uh, I don't yes, know if we can uh, promise you anything, to be quite honest. If, as long as it's not disturbed, I, I think it should be fine. I just, in sign language, mm -hmm. signed a Kess. That includes us. We do not fuck with that shit. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, well, <laughs> um... What's, what's your plans? How long are you staying in Stonefall for? And is it just a quick visit, or...? He stares at Burks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's very much a flying visit on our way to do other shit. Alright. Yeah, We're just sort of, you know, stopping by, saying hello. Oh, for, you know, Brooks's sake. Oh, and yours, I suppose. Uh, it wasn't on my bingo card, I'll, I'll give you that, but... Just good to know. I know you're taking a bingo, to be honest. Getting up there in age. Yeah, yeah. Very, very true. Because i got plenty of time now that I'm all by my lonesome, right? If, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if the, 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 the tavern deep or whatever mentions an elven noble visiting town, just... Just don't pay any heed. What? What have you done? Well, I didn't do anything. Just, if, if you go to the tavern and he's like sprucing up the place or anything, just don't worry about it. All right. Um. Fair enough. Did you uh, book rooms for the night then? Oh yeah, at least me and Lazarus have. All right, well, so, um, there's room for a few of you to stay here. It's, I mean, Brooks' old room is still you. untouched, and uh, I suppose one of you can use Ren's room as well, if you promise to just not mess with any of the stuff in there. So there's a couple of, a couple of spots here, but not enough for all of you. But... I'll probably stay at the tavern as well. I mean, they don't particularly have any... Let's face it, there's not going to be many other people staying there, so... I figured I'd offer just in... Courtesy. I mean, I... If, if Kess is staying here, then Dagon's staying here, so... You staying here, Brooks, or are you going to the tavern? Are you going to stab me in the middle of the night? No promises. It was all a favor, maybe. <laughs> That's so rude. No, I'll, I'll take up my old spot. And... It, it feels less weird than the having strangers stay in your house. Fair enough. All right. You never had like, sleepovers as a kid, Brooks? I meant strangers staying in the house when it's Never mind. What was Brooks like as a kid? I was just about to ask. <laughs> he was, I've, um, been with, I've been holding that in for so long. Got to be I mean, it, de it depends somewhere. what sort of age range you're asking. Most embarrassing age range, I think. <laughs> the one the he was uh, a handful, but uh, I mean, so is 
any child really right i mean you should hear the stories cass has to tell oh, God, no, that's that true i never filled your house with chickens that's slightly different though i was in the fair while and i don't think jacks ever was a kid Oh, I was a strapping young lad. Um, mostly hung out with dark workers. Um, it was only two hundred and. I don't remember. I think 17? Brooks, you were what, three or four when we adopted you. With when I adopted you, I think something along those lines. About that, I. Oh God. Um, I was young enough that I don't really remember anything beforehand. Right, um, you got... Oh, it was then the hard part's really over by then, you know, all the shitting and crying and crying and uh, You got left in an and... orphanage and, uh, I don't really know. After the loss of my wife and having one son that's kind of, you know, unable to, to, to take over my shop when, when I figured it would be nice to have a son, teach him how to smith and potentially pass on the family business to him. Didn't really work out that way, but that was the initial plan. But, uh, I don't know, he's... He was a child of the real interesting stories, I'm afraid, have nothing to do with me when it comes to Brooks. So... It's pretty, um, pretty standard upbringing, really. Well, standard as can be for, uh, you know... Not many like him around here, but... In what way? Tieflings. It's a very small what? town. When did the old... You know... When did you... Uh... Well, I'm pretty sure I knew right away because I'm... The orphanage told me that. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to ask Brooks when he got oh. rid of the older. Uh, oh, you know. Sorry. Oh God. Uh, what when I was like seventeen, like that? Just to try and look a little bit more human, I suppose. They're, so they're a fucking. Before dog. then, were they yeah. like? Were they big? Yeah, what they look like? You know, like the standard fucking tiefling size. But like, there's so many. Like some of them curled, some of them like flat to the side, some of them are fairly tight to the oh, head. Like there's some. Sketches. Some of them curl around like a goat. Some of them stick up. All later, I. <laughs> I will sketch it for you all. Later. Can you just change your appearance to make it look like that. You wouldn't ever have any like baby photos or, or like you know uh, uh, photos of photos growing up. Or pictures. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, we have a smartphone now. Is this the magic? That could be photographs. I've got, I've got, I've got a portrait, um, um, you know, I got a family portrait made when, when Brooks was about uh, 12 or 13, uh, that's about it. Tonight. So no embarrassing sketches or stories? Well, <laughs> there's some, there's some embarrassing stories, all right, but... Like I said, they came when Brooks was old and wise enough to make his own decisions and don't involve me, so they're not mine to tell. Did you say he uh, had a knack of hanging around the wrong crowd? What I mean, that probably hasn't uh... changed. Yes, but you, you no, guys are doing things great. that are, that are <laughs> good. Um, crowd he was around got him in trouble more than it did him good, to be honest. I mean, we still get in trouble. We just get in trouble with. But at least you'll have the law on your people. side. Uh, not always either. To be fair, I don't. Most I don't want time. to know. I don't want to know. Just don't ask if Fabra's put in. No, that's not, in. that's not even my fault. <laughs> A long story. Uh, fuck. It's it's complicated, but I've not been there to cause trouble. Someone has just caused trouble in my name. Well, not even your name. In your visage. Image. Yeah. I'm going to Either I'm that. going to have to get some kind of explanation of what's going on here. He's wanted for murder or something. Uh. What? Okay, right. <laughs> well, that's just ironic, yes. isn't it? You could have just stopped at wanted. Also right? wanted. Like... Also, like it's, it's. I I would like. 
the clarification to be that all of these people and some actual, like, diplomat folk were with me when these murders happened, so know that I could not have been there to do it. He kind of looks at you, he kind of looks at you, Brooks, and he's just gonna... Isn't that poetic? Irony, eh? Um, I, I feel like we should probably dress the elephant in the room. Um, what exactly the happened? It's not my story to tell, Brooks. What happened? I've, uh, I mean, I say it from your mouth the first time. I mean, I've, I've given you all the fucking <laughs> version of events and a version uh, devoid of all not be the specific. right version. Dude was an asshole. We got in a fight. He Shit died. Happens. So much I for have... the within an inch of his life part of the story, then. No, just the inch was half past his life. Past his life, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One inch yeah, your uh, tape measure might need uh, cleaning too. Not to make light of the dead or anything. But... No. Apparently, it was all to do with the lass. Who isn't in town anymore? She left shortly after you did. Ah, uh, of course. I mean, that's a positive. That's a conversation we're not going into, not in front of this lot. What was her name? Katrina. And the waves. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just pick up my plate and walk off. There he goes, running away again. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. I mean, you're you're very... You seem very calm because when you're stating that your son has killed someone, many people react much more poorly to that. I'm not judging. I'm just I mean, curious. I learned it about a few days after Brooks left. Um, Yorick, the owner of the tavern, informed me, and according to him, it was all self-defense, but... Worst things have happened, but um, it'd be nice to hear it from my own son's mouth. Without having to be told <clears throat> by somebody else that your son committed a murder. Well, and, and self defense is a very big mitigating self -defense, factor, so that makes sense. Killed someone. It's still familiar. killed someone. Yeah. Mm. I mean, does the town find him accountable? Depends on who you ask, really. Small town, if. Uh, Word spread that it was self-defense, then that would, like I said, things happen, but it's kind of abandoned me and left me alone with, with Ren. And that's something that um, hurt a lot more than learning that my son killed someone. Yeah. I still had time to give it all a place and... Um, well, this was a conversation that uh, was bound to happen with you guys coming by, but clearly one of us isn't ready to have the talk yet, so try again in 20 years. <laughs> he gets up, just be the star. puts his plate in the kitchen, and uh, pours himself an ale, and he sits, sits down on the sofa, and he's gonna drinks his ale, and doesn't say anything. Right. Hello. I'm Give free! Me. And I look at Eliza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we, uh... You know... Head to the, uh, the old tavern and... Yeah, we should probably go. Yeah. Let's quickly let the air clear here. Here's a little, um... The tension's palpable. <laughs> <laughs> and just fucking... Really, wow. like... Thank you for the meal! <laughs> I can see you later! <laughs> Just uh, Hi -ho, Silver. her over from in front of the fire. Oh, no, no. Hustling <laughs> out of the door. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Alright, so, uh... Dagon and Kess and Brooks, are you staying, or are you also heading out? I... If Kess is staying, then I have to stay, that so that's a hard I'm question. I'm staying. <laughs> Enjoy! 
so you three go to the tavern. The other three, you guys stay. Um, Kalaros kind of just sits down on the couch, like I said, and he's, he's having a drink, and he's not really saying much unless somebody, like, addresses him, but he's just kind of sitting there. I just, in sign language to Kess, I was just like, just F FYI, I mean, we weren't, you might have misinterpreted. I'm not saying if you, we shouldn't stay here, but we, we technically weren't invited to stay. We were just told, like, you could, but the subtext was, it would be rather inconvenient. But obviously, he didn't come out and say it, so I get why you might have missed that. Subtext be damned. I'm going to go over to, <laughs> to Brooks' dad. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Brooks is gonna go to his room. <laughs> Sorry about that earlier. I am um, a lot of nah, pent up okay. frustration. Nah, it's fine. I get it. Family. Mm. Is him running something you could forgive? Of course, he's my son. But it'd be nice to have him face the consequences of his actions for once instead of just picking up and running away. Mm. Be nice. Of course I'd forgive him. I mean, I'm his dad, after all, but not much to forgive if he, if he refuses to talk about it, you know? That's a good point. I'm gonna just, um... Sorry. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm staying here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to go somewhere, we can... Well, I, I've, I've, I've noticed that... Um, I'm not pointing fingers to anyone, but... Brooks visits Ren's room at all. I noticed that somebody had messed with a lock, and that's something that he oh, is quite good at. Yeah. He just wanted to look around. Nice. Fucking liar. <laughs> I did notice that, um... When I mentioned that he got picked up by someone... I don't know, there was a... Weird silence kind of dropped, and, uh... I wonder if I should be made aware of something. If there's anything you know about the people that took my son, then it'd be nice to be in the know as well. We don't know anything for sure. It just, it sounded like a, a thing that, it, it sounded like a place that we weren't fans of, but then we looked back later and we're like, oh, it's probably not the same place. It was confusion. Make a... <laughs> I mean, make a deception or persuasion check. <clears throat> Well, I mean, I feel like it has to be deception because it, I'm, I am lying. I don't think mm -hmm. I am trying to persuade. <laughs> Yo, Is dirty one. Dirty <laughs> one. <laughs> no, surely isn't the opposite of a dirty twenty. Just a, a shiny one. Natural <laughs> two. He he, Natural he two looks at you. <laughs> and do you think my son's in danger because of the place he went to or the people he went with? I'd like to know. He's looking at you quite uh, serious. Uh, I just look real. My my tail starts like twitching, and I'm real awkward looking. Uh, uh, I just look at Kess with like a help look on my face. <laughs> We're not certain yet. We're gonna look into it. What do you What do you know about this place then? Not a lot. Just... I mean, what we know could be good or bad, because it is all, most of what we know is they are powerful users of magic that live there. And if they brought him there to study, then that could be a good thing. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I feel like well, there's I mean, more any... to the story. <laughs> Have you been there? Equally, there are rumors oh. of the kind of magic that they practice, and that's a little darker than perhaps you'd prefer. Hmm. 
All right, so well, <clears throat> it's gonna keep me up at night, but here we are. Well, man, if that it makes you feel any better, I'm sure. He didn't it's, really it's... seem that bad, to be honest. He was nice. He seemed to really care about Ren, but now I'm not so sure anymore. If it makes you feel better, I'm sure Brooks is, and likely with our help, is, is probably going to go make a visit and trip to him now and check up on him. So Now that we know he's not here. If there is anything you do know about the people that live there and anything, I would appreciate it if you tell me. Yeah, of course. We don't really know anything. There's just rumors and hearsay, and that's not really any actual truth or knowledge to anything. Are you surprised? How often rumors tend to be facts? I'm sure it's just nothing that we could personally swear to yet, because until we know for sure a rumor is a fact, we can't make any judgments. All right. He kind of slaps his knees and gets up. I'm going for a walk. Just, uh, you know, feel at home. But just try not to make a mess. Back in a little bit. Your Midwestern goodbye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he leaves. You well! Know, you, hear him, you hear him go downstairs and you hear the front door close and he's kind of walks out. Front door closes and he's like, oh, I fucked up. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going in Brooks's room. Okay. It's a lot easier to lie when I couldn't talk. So <clears throat> I just enough to answer. Fair. 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 <sighs> Do you go to Brooks? Yeah. I'll follow them. I'm, I'm not going to sit here just in this house by myself doing <laughs> nothing. <laughs> You're just going to. Are you just gonna sit here and sulk? I'm not fucking sulking. I just didn't particularly feel like having everyone sat around and asking me questions about shit that I've already said. I mean, if, if you'd already said it, we wouldn't need to ask questions about it. You're asking questions about the stuff you left unsaid, silly. I'm never going to complain about the fact that you can use your voice now. However, <laughs> there are times where it would have been easier if you didn't. I'm just going to, in sign language, sign the three swear words I taught him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dick, tits, and ass, if I remember. Yep. Sign, the, sign all three of them, and then just point at him. And play. You're being one. Fair. Also, I think you probably should have been prepared for the fact that that was coming when we agreed to come here. I mean, people aren't here anymore, so that's less of a problem. People being the woman, right? Yes, Kes, people being the woman. I knew it! Tell me everything. Come on! We were a thing and then we weren't. What else do you want to know? Uh, you can definitely do better than that, come on. Most time people's things become not things. It doesn't end in someone being dead. So it's kind of like, it sounds like a big thing. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Cass just being like, I'll take your word for it. I... Well, at least here. I don't know about the Feywild, but here. That's that's not the typical end to relationships. We were very close. I went away for a few days to do 
some work. I came back early and she had company that I was not expecting. Oh, no. And we argued and that got heated and became what it was. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Um, and then, sorry that I to explain to your dad because... Because I didn't know if I was in serious trouble or not, so I did what I know how to do and got the fuck Heck. out of there. No. And on top he of did that, the two things he does best. Beat someone to death and then ran away. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> I know. That's why I said that out of character. Yeah, he's adding you know, color commentary. <laughs> I didn't sign up for the Sir Duke 33 <laughs> narration episode. <laughs> Is it a direct cut? Or... I don't really know what there is to say beyond that. Well, that's all you needed to say. Just that you hadn't told us that part before. So that's new information. Makes sense now. Also makes sense why you wouldn't want to see her. Because she sounds like a bitch. I didn't want to be here both from a sense of I don't know what trouble I'm in, but also I didn't want to deal with it. Fair. I didn't want to have to go to the same places and see the same people and be around that should be around that situation. As I'm sure you're very aware, I'm not the best when it comes to being open with people, and I was with a few people, and one of those people fucked shit up. Yeah. And that wasn't pleasant, and I didn't really want to deal with it at the time. I didn't really know how to deal with it at the time, so I traveled. Mm -hmm. And I ended up in Eldalon, where I met Jax, and then the rest of you. It's really not that bad. <clears throat> like, it could be so much worse. Like what? She could still be here. That's and just she could be with someone, her. And she could be with somebody, like, super, super ugly, just to make it feel even worse. You could have killed way more people. Or she could have been, it could have been with, like, I don't know, uh, maybe she, maybe it was not just a person, but, like, a group of people that she was seeing, and that would have made it so much worse. I mean, I feel like, like, it's definitely not better if it's a group of people, but I don't know if that makes it worse, necessarily. Moreover, your dad could not be here for you to mend the bridge now. Yes. Yeah. Or if we never come back, you wouldn't know that we might need to go help your brother. And now we can, if he needs our help, we can go there to help him. And that's a good thing. Net I mean, positive. I, I don't want to say that I burned that bridge with my dad. I just thought... You haven't yet. You're on your way to. Uh, I, I didn't do anything to it. I just sort of ignored it until it fell into disrepair. Well, a, there, there's a limited time uh, on the window of opportunity you have to, to, to fix it. So you should get on that. Yeah. 
it was a shitty situation, and I thought the best thing I could do for the people I cared about was to make sure they weren't involved in it. Yeah, and now time has passed, and they clearly don't hold the situation against you, just the response to it, and that is something you can fix. So do you two, like, is it a two-for-one for the therapy? Do you both take wages individually? Look, if you I mean, need to take advice from someone who didn't have a dad until, like, six weeks ago, then or someone you're whose parents in a worse were... state than anyone can do for you. And my parents literally wanted me dead and, like, actively helped try and make it happen. So you should, if you have parents that are better than that, that you should keep try and keep that. In our group, it really is a low bar, isn't it, in terms of... Yeah. <laughs> and yet, you surpass it, so good job. I mean, I mean we don't really know much about Jax's parents. They could be nice for all we know. I mean, how long do Vidal can live? And, how and our Davi Davian's parents were, were fine. He's like, were they? he's like a bad gust of wind away from the grave. Like, look at that dude. <laughs> he's fucking old. Hey, his parents might have been young when they had him, you know? They might still be around. They are dust. Okay, that's a bit extreme. That's a bit harsh. Jesus. I mean, technically, technically, I'm, I'm, I mean, someone could literally, I could stub my toe technically, and part of me, part of my toe is gone forever, so, you know, I, I can't throw stones. Yeah, maybe let's not <laughs> do that. Uh, do you know what? I'll leave asking Jax about his parents up to you two. Sure. I did not think that coming home would be this difficult. Then you're an idiot. I think yeah, you I'm did. Sure think. You I think you knew. You just didn't want to think about it. If I don't think about it, it's not a problem. Nah. Anyways, are um, are you staying here tonight? Because I feel like it'll be really weird if you don't. I'm staying here tonight. Okay, good. I'm gonna go downstairs. Please don't break anything in here. Don't gonna... touch that freaky metal. Yeah, don't do that. Very. No, you're like blowing yourself up. But now is not the time. <laughs> Yeah, and we didn't even tell your dad that story, so you should be very, very- And we could have! And then what? Going out the front door. <laughs> Just sit outside for a little bit, and then I'm gonna come in. And have a conversation with my dad. Please don't break anything. Would you like us not to be here when you have that conversation with your dad? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't stay here, but like... Well, we can like go for a walk or something while you're having the We conflict. can go to a different plane for a bit. We can't. I thought we you might suggest, you know, going to the tavern and having a drink, not, you know, plane hopping. I mean, we can go Why to not? a beach. Why not? Plane hopping's fun. It's a nice beach. When are you planning to take me to the beach? I don't know, when you act like an adult. I'm gonna... That's real fucking rich coming from you. <laughs> that is incredibly fucking rich. I wouldn't recommend the method I took to get an invite. What the whole dead not dead? Yep. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Fair. I'm a hundred years older than you. Take my wisdom for what it is. Perfect. <laughs> Weird flex. <laughs> We're we pulling the age card. <laughs> and shut up. Physically 100 years older, mentally like 20 years younger. I always, I always forget. It's always so weird <laughs> to think about how much older than you are. That's weird. Um. Right. So, Brooks, you're gonna go just sit outside and have a I don't know, have a have a fucking smoke or whatever, whatever it is you're doing. Yeah. Clear your head. Just have a smoke and chill out. Uh, while that's all going on, tavern gang. As you get to the tavern, is that just uh, the two of us? Who else is going? Uh, I'm here as well. Jax, Laszlo, oh, okay, and okay. Uh, Davian. Yeah. You get to the tavern and you can see the, the same like pudgy 
face tatted man standing behind the bar. Um, you can see it in a corner table. That same uh, gnome, but also with the, with the piercings and the and the face tattoos, um, is still sitting there, uh, having a conversation with someone, someone hooded. You, don't, you can't you don't really get a good look. Other than that, uh, there's a couple more people in there. Just, uh, you know, your average uh, civilians, if you will, just just human, mostly humans, just kind of probably just got done with the day's work and having uh, having a couple drinks before they hit the hay for the night. <clears throat> Is there anything in particular you'd like to do? Yes. Go on. Uh, as we walk in, I'm gonna put my hands on both their shoulders and just whisper in their ears, "We need to have a talk. Uh, let's go to your room." Oh. Okay. No. Okay, all right. Well, which one? Because we got you? two. It doesn't matter. As you uh, I'll take out my key, I'll go for my grandma. As you walk past yeah. the bar, uh, the bar keeps kind of nods at you and. Uh... Any drinks? Uh, I think we're okay for now, but if we need some. Then... All right. Can we take them upstairs? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'll have a drink. I'll have the a... same as I did last time. Fair enough. All right. How about you, uh, Blue yeah. Man? Uh, none for me. Uh, I'm trying to cut back. Ooh. Rough place for you to be, then, eh? Hmm. A little bit. All right. And he uh, pours uh, an ale. Did you also have an ale last, uh, Lazarin? I did, but I wouldn't have another one. Unless, because he pours two out. Well, he just pours two and hands them to you. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Wee! All right. Take him upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when we get their door, I'm gonna like open it, let them go in, and like kind of like trickle, and then shut the door quickly behind me. You're with your cage, okay. Yes? Um, I think Kess is trying to kill us. What? What? Okay. It, it all started when we um, you know, killed the sea bitch and uh, or her avatar. I don't know how gods work. Um. Anyways, when she got turned to stone. It, she was turned to stone, right? Right. Um, got her unpetrified. I think mm -hmm. she has a grudge against us for it. <laughs> Hear me what out. makes you say that? Can I... Dutch, I have a question. Yeah, me Do too, I a... man. I have a passive insight of 21. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Do I feel like this is a bit... <laughs> Like, is is a genuinely like? I will tell you without a beyond a doubt, it is not a bit. Genuinely, like I am seeing like genuinely, as someone, as Jack someone believes every word he says. This someone, Jack someone who has been in a state mouth. of paranoia quite recently. You, there's I, saw, like, I know like, the like, signs. Like, so, like, <laughs> Jax is apparently Jax is serious. Jax is fucking. It's like, okay, it's like halfway between being like normal yeah. and like okay. manic. You know yeah. what I mean? Not full manic, but on the way. Not full yeah. manic, yeah. but it's like. <laughs> It's developing. You're spiraling. You're spiraling. Yeah. You're with that. We're with spiral. a little jittery. Yeah, I get it. Like it's it. the right. opening credits to the manic episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway continue. Right. Uh, so, she has her dad in, or, uh, you know, in trouble. Right? Right. What if it's all a ruse? We go to the plane of air. There's a dragon. It kills us all. Okay. And uh, she gets... Slow down. Slow down. No, no, no slow I, I down. I think she's after my arm. How there are much easier ways to kill us than getting us all to the elemental plane of air so a dragon can do it. Well, she has to make it look believable, and, you know, if it looks like she was friends with us, then she's just the poor person that lost all of her friends in the elemental plane of air. Well, now he says that, she did disappear pretty quick when everyone was dying in the hells. When, we were, when, when everyone else was dead, or close to it. I'm she sure she was hoping as soon as she came back out, Just everyone would be, you know. And then she came back out hoping everyone was dead. But we survived. And so now, you know, it, she makes a flippant comment about not touching the Arcanite that could explode, and I'm worried she might set it off. What? Um, to be honest with you, setting off the Arcanite is more because Kess is a moron and likes touching things, not because she's trying to kill us all. I think that's more... That's level, but I'm going to be honest with you now, Jax. We're sort of sounding a bit crazy, and by a bit crazy, I mean, like, I've had crazy you would have said government running whole 
you know, cities and stuff was crazy, but we had enough proof of one doing just that. But I was also was like shown that previously, like I was told about it, and like, and we've it. seen the signs, right? But we've not. Uh, can I make a medicine check on Jax to see if he's got gone like actually insane? I've got, I've had some insane parents. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've yeah, fucking. Can I make it. a little? Yeah, sure is sure. is Jax showing signs of is, yeah, de is, degeneration? Is, 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 yeah, is, oh, has Jax's Jesus. brain just yeah. gone? Is he just having a little episode? <laughs> yeah, so that's Jax, a twenty. It's a can twenty-five. You smell yeah, mm -hmm. so cool. you can always smell electrum. Uh, yeah. You know. Do you know what this is about, Dutch? Because it's been a while. I have no idea. Dude, oh sh- oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you you have a lingering madness too? I'm sending Dutch a DM. Yeah, what do you mean too? I have no idea what the fuck's Remember going on. I had a lingering madness before yeah. you resur- before Speaking I became a soul? No, oh, well. I definitely didn't know anything Dagging out the gigglies. That. Well, out of- yeah, out- out of character we knew now that I had that lingering yeah. madness until I got brought back. Well, Ethan so. knew because he was- I, I knew because I was very good when oh! it Oh right! Well, yeah, oh, that's not a good reaction. I'm with oh, you. No. I'm with you now. Yeah, see, I was like, I was like, it's been a while, so I'm not mm. sure if Dutch actually remembers. But yeah, no, oh, I, I'm with you now. Uh, as you do your medicine oh, check, no. uh, Lazarin, mm -hmm. you notice that there's like, you know, like he's sweating a bit. He's a bit shaky and jittery. Like uh, something, something's up. Is everything okay, Jack? Sorry, do you just mind if I give you a little check over? You just, you don't seem well. I don't mean this in like a. Harsh way, just from a medical. I'm not going crazy. It's not old age. No, Kes is trying crazy. to kill the party. I'm not saying. And then she's trying to get my armor and then sell it for profit. Right. Okay. Okay. Let me have a look here. Hmm. What can I do? Because <laughs> I did not prepare many spells that can <laughs> deal with this right now in the morning. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'll I'll do a lesser restoration on him. You know, and I'll assume there might be a disease. <laughs> um. No results. Very much the same thing still happening. This is like, hmm. As I told you, it's, it's not disease. Kes is trying to kill us. You really think something's wrong with him, Elijah? I just like he's sweating more than usual, right? Like it's a little, like he doesn't get the flu. In more southern areas, it's 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 the. It's humidity. like you got the flu though. Like it's not like. It's humid, but it's not. Jax well, is just. Also, a grand is a lot more yeah, tropical than. Yeah. Well. It's more where we are now, I'm just saying, we've been in um, the jungle and you're sweating less than this. Well, we haven't been in the jungle for a month or so. Yes, but but that's what I was saying is that this is a nicer climate to be in than the one we currently were, and you were less this then. So uh, well, all the pieces have started coming together. I've, just, I've been spending some time looking at everything, making hmm. sure that I was correct. What? And, you know, I thought I was second guessing myself. Who touched? I, I was the same as you. And as he's sort of talking, I'm now just sort of doing a walk around, seeing if there's anything <laughs> fucking weird I can see. Because I know if I start like going right up on it and doing a full like, what the fuck's up with you? He might, you know, he's a little. I'm just sort of doing a little, all those little walk paths, just. Going on here, buddy. <laughs> um, as you kind of like, <clears throat> now that you're kind of thinking back, um, make a make a history check. Oh God! I mean, not to feed into Jax's paranoia, but she also then did leave the party during that one giant fight where Dagon did die. How should I yeah, just I already say said that? Oh, yeah. I'm just typing out conspiracy That's theory. the damning evidence against her. And and when she's also and not joining you at the party. Yeah, she, she's now alone with, with Brooks and the person who she's already succeeded in getting murdered. So one down. Next one. Wrong, what, uh, what if... What if what Dagon and Brooks kill, like, beat the crap out of Cass? It's because they saw through the illusion. She's Was that, uh, Quibs? 14. 14? Um... <clears throat> you remember... That after a certain, uh, I believe it was in the like the, the the sea bitches cave, right? When it all started, I think so. I think that's where it started. I have to look back at our DMs. Yeah, I think it was that fucking crystal thing that you fought, mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. golem. Yeah, that yeah. Would I think that's right. Uh, you don't necessarily remember him like showing any signs of anything, but you do remember that 
that same day, he started noticing, and he's kind of thinking back, he picked up a, a, a drinking habit. A lot, he started drinking a lot more, and he has, he's been sober for a few days now. That's he like, literally just said he was trying to cut back. He's been sober for, for the past few days now, after having consumed a good amount of alcohol every day since you've come back from the, the sea bitch adventure. As soon as you exited that cave, pretty much. These are the, these are the first mm. few days where you've seen him sober again since then. His sobriety is making him crazy. That's uh, that's that's something that you do, kind of do put together. Like, oh yeah, wait, he's he's not been drinking. That's that's like the only thing. Mm. No, see, I now have. Hmm. This isn't a healthy option. But it's what we can do best for now until tomorrow. Just to calm you down a bit, Jax. Just have some have some ale. We don't need to be calmed down. We need to confront Tess. No, we don't. You're being Before insane. she can kill us all. She's not going to kill us all. This is what we're saying is that it's fine. And also, she couldn't kill us all anyways. Right, so. Just, you know, you... Like, let's take a seat. Get yourself just a nice drink and then I'll pass over the ale that I haven't started drinking yet. I don't need a drink. I'm thinking the most clearly I have in weeks, months even. But why are you not though? <laughs> why very much not? Oh, you just don't see the connections. Do I need to put string on a board and then connect the dots for you? Sorry, you're telling me the one who has the literal people after him and has it connected and the mass paranoia for the past month that I don't see connections. That's yes, crazy to we've me. we've proven that and now I've proven it's... this. What proof? What stone cold hard she evidence? She left us to die. I mean, I wasn't there, so, you know. Which is why... I'm dead. She ran away to a dark corner and then disappeared. Yeah, but Kiss is also no, a no, no, no. Like... Hey guys, I need to go. Uh, no, um, I'm Kiss coming back. What? What? Just... Oh, what? <laughs> a known scaredy cat and self preserver. <laughs> this is like... so fucked. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's actually the roast of Kess, did you know? <laughs> so We're out here having a heart to heart with Brooks, and they out here conspiracy theorizing. Ooh, they out here? C crazy fucking old man is going mental. Jax is out here with a whiteboard, some red string, and three same lines one of here. Man saw a Facebook post like two days ago and is now like, it all makes sense. Like, fucking okay. goddamn. Look, Bush did 9 11 and Kess is trying to kill the party. I'm right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Weird. Oh, weird thing to say. It's tinfoil hats in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Literally. No, it's already in. Uh, my hat's already on. Cal's last flat, guys. It's in, his, it's in Jax's, like, fucking hat. There's just a little tinfoil <laughs> line here. Yeah. How's that? <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Right. Carry on. Uh, no, I just... Yeah. When was it? If Listen, you don't... When was the last we, time? we can watch her tonight. I'm sure she'll do something sketchy. Well, no, she went, no we because now she every little there. thing she does, you're going to be like, See, she's doing her laundry. Yeah, she's she's doing. trying to fucking kill us. I'm going to have to try... Oh. I will Bye. do a quick little... Hmm, what do I have? What do I have? Can I do anything that's actually just not going to be... No. I'm not detrimental. Ah, uh, actually... I'll try it. I will go up to Jax. No, and I will cast Dispel Magic. And just sort of hope. Target an effect, correct? Doesn't I'm now all the magical items become boring. No. It's just so a magic magical... I'm targeting mundane. just a a like a his brain. I think you can you can like do a creature, and if there's like a spell on the creature, it ends. Um, like it's like spell. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, choose one creature object magical effect. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I guess you so could like, just choose me. But yeah, like if there's anything happening to you, it does nothing. Nothing. No. Sp I mean, just that like, hmm. <laughs> this is a conundrum. Look, I, I thought you two would understand. I, I thought you two would make the most sense. I, I, I wanted to tell Brooks about this too, but you know, he's staying with them. I can't risk her overhearing. Right, Jax, how about, okay, hear me out on this one, because I'm gonna 
good middle ground, all right? Keep on the low for, for tonight, right? Because now we know. Like, now we're in, right? Oh, so you believe me now? Didn't say that. I just said we're now privy to the information that you have given us, right? We can make our own conclusions based on those facts that you have given us, and we can come back to you, right, and either help prove your theory or hope to make you see reason for it. But if we act too quickly and you're wrong, can you see how that might be a detriment? But I'm not wrong, so it's not a problem. You were wrong about the gods, dude. So, I mean, you've got to track history. <clears throat> it's not my fault you never showed up, ever. Uh, and it's not your... Uh, 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 Lazarus is just like, like completely uh, I, I, just dumb power. Like. There's proof now, and that's why I decided that I believed it. I didn't want to believe Kess tried to kill us, but now there's proof, really? and now I've... Alright, okay, 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 okay. If... If she doesn't explode the Arcanine and kill everyone in the house, then can we agree that there's nothing weird going on and actually she's no, fine? Because her, because, because she, no, because she thinks the plan's the dragon. He thinks the plan's the dragon. What, 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 what would she be biding her time for? To kill us. Also, why would she have to kill me? I've but why wait? Well, killing you, she could get paid for by the Nightwebs for taking off her pawn for their table. Um, for Davian, she could take the tears. Um... Not sure what Daigon had, but Daigon was very. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, no, you secret. said you already um, took care of Daigon, so. Oh well, yes, but I don't. I don't know what she had against Daigon per se, but they've had a long, complicated relationship. Well, apparently, she doesn't have anything against anyone. She's just here to cash in. It could be. I don't know her exact motives. This is just me spitballing off the top of my head. But Hang on, she's you're also, spitballing, you know, from... but you said you had conclusive. Ve uh, from a plane where exactly she really has no one of them. She really has no investment in the value of money or understanding of it really. The tears don't what no one else can even touch the tears without getting hurt, so that's what you think. Uh, if our dad, you know, knows Kasuth, maybe they could talk and get her as able to use them. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Powerful elemental allies that want... Yes, what? they fought against the dragons. They could be friends. Well, yeah, they are friends. So, oh, what... Are what... proving my point? Well, how does that prove anything? What does... It if they're friends, the why would they champion. want me dead? It, so a costume has the agency to make that happen her. if you wanted it to. Elijah. Yeah, hello. Yes. Lazarin, I think Davian's working with her. <laughs> no, I mean, and if even if he was right, oh, why would Davian, he reveal? No, it? he's right. He's right. He's right Davian, about everything. Keep your hands where I can see them. He's, he, no, he's right. Hey, Lazarin, we've got to put our hands up. He's figured it out. We're all in on it, Jax, and it's actually we're all here to set just you up. We're all a part of it. I cast invisibility and I run out of the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> well, counterpoint. Oh, no. The second he, go, second he goes invisible, I cast see invisibility. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. And I'm tracking that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just... Well, I like... I like to run, but I'm just yeah, keeping on. patient. I'm like, I pull my sheet and like, fucking... I'm when he goes like, invisible, mm -hmm. I just go. can I attempt to perceive him? Uh, Actually, yeah, make a perception like check, check perception. Um, against Jax. Make a stealth check with advantage. Oh, well, actually, it's just a straight roll for me because I have disadvantage. Oh, you have disadvantage. <laughs> okay, yeah, straight roll. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Perception check. Does he got advantage? Uh, Not bad. Invisible creatures. Oh, I mean, my stealth minus two, but sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, I rolled us like a seven, uh, eight. So, so now you don't see him. I obviously, lost them. I Lazarin, lost them. you obviously do. As soon as you cast uh, see invisibility, you, you see him. Oh, it's not fucking Can I command Onu to follow him and see if Onu can well, see him? Well, what I will go to then do... Hold up. Now that I've got my see invisibility up, I am going to cast Fairy Fire on Jax. Oh. Jax, uh, make a deck saving throw. He does not win. asshole. 
What the fuck even? Do I have any bonuses to this? Hold on. What's the dex save? Dex save, yeah. Gonna I, go gotta pretty look high. At, I gotta look at something real quick. I might have something to combat this. Combat I thought I was gonna be the one the chaos saving throw. Question. Perfect. Yeah, this wasn't on my bingo card for the night, but here we are. Bing, bing, bing. Um, so that's a 16 to save. However, I'm also going to pump a flash of genius. Um, which gives me a plus five to that, so 21. You motherfucker. <laughs> you guys dip, du Bastard. diving, and dodging. Yeah, at that, that, like, point, uh, at that point, Jax is out the room, and he's, he's booking it downstairs. Oh, no. it's well, uh, Elijah can see him, though. Yeah, I can see yeah, him. Yeah, Elijah can see like, him, yeah. Dude, dude, dude. I just... Can I... Nah, never mind. I will then cast... <laughs> like... <laughs> Whole person. I mean, I don't have it prepared, but... I will then cast sending. Okay. Bearing in mind that every action he used to cast is an action that he's using to fucking dash. dash. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's it's. Okay. I will just cast sending to Brooks. <laughs> to let Brooks know, hey, we have a problem. <laughs> I'm and outside. Like, yeah, but we're in the tavern, right? So we're mm -hmm. you're almost outside, and I'm just still gonna hear him with a Brooks. Um, probably not the best time for you, but. Jax has gone fucking mental and thinks Kess is going to kill us all, and he's sort of run off invisible, but I'm tracking him, this is fine, just, he's That's gone over. fucking crazy, and yeah, <laughs> it's like, he's gone, and it's like... <laughs> You're talking a little fast, so it's hard for me to count, yeah, so, but... Yeah, I think I was like, I may mean, I'm going I get to reply to this, right? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Do I bring in the other two? Is that a bad idea? Use another third level spell and cast sending again. <laughs> I mean, fucking bring everyone because at this point he's my about to cut him off at the pass. I, I don't know where door. he's going. I open the door <laughs> and I shout up. Right, come on, idiots! We've got shit to do. Okay. okay. As soon as I get out the front door of the tavern, mm -hmm. I'm going to drop my invisibility. Okay. And I'm going to cast web into okay. the door. Can I see this from where? And I am? shoot webs out of my eyes. Uh, I mean, it's, the, right the Smith now. shop and the tavern are like. Around the same like, like uh, it's not really a square, but it's like little little, little, little like dead end kind of like, area. He's invisible and he just appears. <laughs> but you see, like as you kind of like you got the message, and suddenly you see Jack just like appear in front of the tavern door, like across the street from you essentially, and you see him cast web on the door. You know? Can I start booking it to him? Yeah, of course. Uh, I. Do I see him coming? Um, once he gets a bit closer, yeah. I've got my hands up. I haven't got any weapons. No, I'll just start following, following Brooks, gesturing for Cass to come so I don't get mm -hmm. stuck. If I, I will, I tell you what, when I am within 60 feet, I will slow down. Okay. Because I will not, like, full speed book it at him. So you're not trying to appear as a threat to me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brooks, watch out. They're trying to kill us all. Uh, Kess is trying to kill the party. Davian's in on it, and the last one's with them. Okay. And we need to go now. And I'll start running wait, east wait, wait, wait. if that's where the road leads. Sure, yep. Yeah. Yes, are we following? Because uh, I'm following, assuming you're following with me. And if you're not, then I'm just going to hit a wall where my body falls to the ground and I just keep going. So I'm I'm running alongside Daikin as much as I can. Okay. Um. So, do you, do you, you, wanna... you kind of like book it like... east. Um, actually, and I believe before... I actually outrun people as well. Not me. Before... Well, while we're... And Davian, oh, no. uh, as you kind of get to the door, you kind of like, having to like rush through the web, like, you know, what the fuck is this? Um, and you see that, you see like in the distance, like I'd say 60 feet ahead of you, you can see that like the rest of you, the group, are all running to the east. Ooh. Fuck, Jax. Wait. We don't have time. They're coming for us now. I. We'll fucking. Well, Will you well, stop we're... if I can make them stop and keep a distance? They can't come any closer than 100 feet. Fine. Just stay here and I'll make everyone else stop, okay? So eventually you all catch up. Fine. <laughs> But when, whenever we stop, 
Mm -hmm. Um, I want to, in sign language, so there's no chance of Jax overhearing, say, Cass, can you put my body in the vessel? I have an idea. If I I will do that. (laughs) So I'll leave my body, and then she'll Pokeball it into her vessel. Okay. (laughs) I will very loudly to everyone. I won't get any closer. How close am I to Jax? I won't get any closer than where I am. I'd probably keep it like 20 to 30 feet ish. Okay. So, like 20, 25 th- feet away from Jax. Mm-hmm. I'll just shout at the others. I'll be like, just wait there. Don't come any closer. Okay. We're just gonna. I'm gonna go have a conversation with him and y- y- please. Just stay there where he can see you, but you're not close. Okay? What is happening? But I will call out, I'll call out to Brooks, good luck with that, he's fucking mental. I'm just, Uh, I'm just, at this point, I took my ale down to the sort of main tavern and just mm. took a seat. Sat down. Sat my ale. (laughs) I want to try, while they're talking, so I'm going to be doing this slowly, but I want to try and, like, like, leave, go behind buildings and skirt around, but I want to try and get behind like sneak up on Jax and get behind Jax within five feet without him seeing me but it's it'll be slowly like while he and Brooks are talking it won't be like I'm rushing uh, over there yeah okay that's fine so you're in the process of doing that uh, I'm in the process of doing that as it goes no need for checks okay. yet but uh, what are you guys discussing right <clears throat> give me the short and sweet because at the moment okay. it sounds like you're having a breakdown no, so I, I was like, oh, I, I can finally uh, catch us away from the party. I can finally tell Lazarin and Davian how she's trying to kill us. Uh, it, you know, first she got turned to stone. That's when her vendetta changed against us, right? Uh, she blames us. Um, So, you know, it's been small things building up over time. But the big event, because we don't have much time, is that when we were fighting Balasophon, she disappeared. She ran away while everyone else was dying. And me and Davin were just there. And she disappeared without a word. And then... I, I know. Letting us die. She wants us dead. And then she's concocted this story about having to go to the airplane to pick up something from a dragon, but the dragon's just there to kill us. <laughs> okay. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I believe it's within the realm of possibility. Why hasn't she killed me on the numerous occasions that she's had chance? Because she's waiting her time. She needed to check, make sure things are all perfect. She's setting it up. She's smart. For, for Even of all the pranks she's played on people, she thinks it through. For, oh, for, I mean, she, re- she really thriving. does not think it through. Like... She is a creature of, of chaos, but... That's what she wants you to think. She presents this, Oh, I'm so innocent and don't know anything about... Uh, While how you're having this conversation, uh, Daigon, make a... Um, I'm gonna say make a stealth check with disadvantage, because sadly, your ghostly okay. body comes with the effect of you I, glow. Yeah. It's like, I'm trying to do <laughs> as much, like, behind buildings. Like, yeah. I'll take a wide arc if I have to, but yeah. yeah and like, just kind of like looking at, okay, what direction is... Can I argue like, it would be a straight roll because he's distracted by... Is, if Brooks is holding his attention enough to cancel out, or no? Um, is he too paranoid? He's like also actively like scanning the Yeah, it up. seems like, judging the conversation, it seems that Jax is really into trying to okay. convince Brooks. I'd say, yeah, that Jax is not like looking around him at this point. He's like really... Like, uh, uh, just tell, tell me, I'm, tell me, I'm me. wrong at, at any, any time, Soko. But I feel like Jackson right now is just no, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would, I would say tunnel so. visions on getting Brooks on his side, kind of thing. So does that bring yeah. it up Brooks to a straight roll? Brooks is his last hope to have someone believe okay. him and not have the whole, have all of us die. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I told you, fuck is this, Soko? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not great. Fifteen. What's your passive perception, uh, Jax? <sighs> oh, it's gonna be it's high. Fifteen. Oh! Oh. Unfortunate. Uh, you kind of. How close do I get before he notices? Um, I'd say like you're like you're like fifty feet away. Okay, hold on. I need to fucking give me a Jack's like you kind of like notice from your peripheral vision. Shit. You kind of notice like something glowing, it's getting closer. Glowing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two seconds. I need to make a couple rolls. Oh boy. Uh-oh. This is whether if, or not he tries. If to I kill if me. I feel like he's seen me, I will like put my hands up to look not and to be like I'm just I just want to talk. This is okay. Oh, okay. Is no, no. when I notice her. Fifty feet. feet. He said, five zero. 
<laughs> I'm so going to cast okay. Vortex Warp on Daigon. What is that? What is that, Daigon? I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I've used a board. Right. I don't win these. Actually, shot, never mind, I do, because I don't have a body, so I guess it's easier to be. So, yeah. Also a 15. Unfortunately, my DC ah, is 16. So, <laughs> I take Daigon's ghost form. Oh, no. And this portal appears next to her, and she gets sucked in. Oh, no. And then shot out 90 feet back towards the Lazarin. Okay. So, I just got pushed so you just away. Got pushed back oh. to where you were, pretty much, yeah. See, they're being sneaky. They're not abiding by the truth. <laughs> Dagen, you, you're just like, go, it's like ah! <laughs> and then you're just, you're just yes. back to where the rest of the group is. Look at this. At this point, at this point, I'm just gonna yell so Jax can hear me. Then I was like, Jax, I was trying to get close because I have a way we can talk that no one else can hear. I can make it 100 percent secure. That's all I was trying to do. Holy fuck! She's gonna possess to him. Possess Are you me. fucking kidding? Yeah. Then we can talk privately and no one can hear because it's all in his head. Uh, the talking is Matt. over. Kes is trying to kill all of us. She already got you killed. Jack. Did you see? Yeah, but she also was key in bringing me back. Why would she look. do that? Wasn't that counterintuitive? No, it's all for the looks. She has to look like she cares. Just just stay over there. None of you fuck shit up. Dagon. I'm staying. Make, a, make an insight check and just Dagon. I, I feel like I'm thinking of things now, but... Because... Oh... Um, 17. 17. Because you... Um, suffered... From a, a, a lingering madness before... You know, that... Before yeah. you... Uh, unfortunately met your demise. Yeah. You're starting to recognize... Oh, maybe I wasn't the only one affected by such yeah. an effect. But Jax's one is just... Yeah. Has a different effect on him, but you're so you're starting to recognize the behavior as yeah. someone who isn't quite himself. Okay, I will. The last thing I'll say, I'll just be silent. Let Brooks try and deal with it. Yeah, like, yeah, again, yelling. So I'm not getting closer now because it'll bother him. So <laughs> have fun, anyone in the streets overhearing. Um, it's like Jax. If you give me a chance for private conversation, I will. I will do whatever you ask. I'll keep whatever distance you ask. I'll like sit on my hands. I won't do anything, but I, I think I can see where you're coming from. But I think I can explain everything. I promise. And I'm gonna. Oh, I don't have my stuff because my body's in there. Shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna say, remember what you wrote in my journal. I was gonna toss in the journal, but, but I can't. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Emotional blackmail. Emotional damage. <laughs> You can come to where Brooks is, but no closer. Okay, I'll ve I'll keep my hands up, but very slowly walk join Low. Brooks. Yeah. Low over. I don't float. I can't fly yet. I have to get I'm higher level that. before I float. I know. I'm like, ghost I'm, a, I'm, a, float I'm, a, I'm a landlocked range. ghost. I mean, you can like walk. hover off the ground, right? But like centimeters. Like it's oh, not. <laughs> so yeah, walk over there. Let's go. Now Jax. How about this? I explained my theory, and then you can continue expanding on yours, because I get, I can see how it looks. I get where you're coming from. I don't think it's entirely crazy. So I'm not out here saying that you're entirely wrong. But I also have a second plausible theory, and a man of yourself, who is a man of rationality and intellect, you gotta examine every option, and then the only one that's left is the one that's true, correct? I suppose. Do you remember before I died? The last few days, and it was also around the same time after the whole sea bitch stone lady. My how I was a bit off. I was laughing at things that really weren't that funny. I was not taking things very seriously. Even my own death wasn't a big deal. I was like, oh, this is kind of funny. Imagine that. I think I made a joke about having nine lives. Do you remember this? Yes, but I thought it was, you know, dark humor, trying to make light of the situation. But that sudden shift, that dark humor all of a sudden becoming very pronounced in me, happened around the same time you started to suspect Kess. 
mm-hmm. and we were also fighting with i'm gonna Adam step in here and say that the suspecting cast thing is recent but that is around the same time where he picked up his drinking habit and this is this whole suspecting well, cast thing is, the... is 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 a result of him not drinking anymore so he didn't i don't know that. yeah no but I mean... you're saying this happened around, but... oh yeah. okay so just okay. him suspecting uh, cast is once, I, once i was brought back I was. I could feel the difference. I could see that my mind had been affected after that conflict. So I just want you to entertain the idea that there is a chance that something's affecting your mind in the same way. Because mine was only removed by my death. I'm not saying we'll find a different way if that's what's happening to help you. Trust me, we'll find a different way. But well, that's in order to give me the whole shebang, hit me with all different kinds of cleric things. Nothing worked. But I, I, it, it does nothing wrong. His cleric ability and the kinds that brought me back, for example, otherwise Elazarin could have just sat me back on his own. There's different well, ranges. Elazarin's not cleric. the best cleric we've ever met, like... Okay, uh, but Marcus would have noticed something was wrong if, he, if, if, there, if there was something wrong. Marcus didn't notice there was anything trying wrong trying to not die. And Marcus didn't notice there was something wrong with me. Well, Marcus only really know you for a little bit and then you died, so. Look, I... (sighs) Let's say you're right about Cass. You think she's out to get everyone else. Well, I suppose they could all be working together against us. What do you mean by them all? You mean like us two versus... Well, when I was in the room with Davian and Elazarin, Davian even said that he's working with Kes to kill me. Davian's an idiot. Davian says all. stupid shit all the time for reactions. That's not new. He sure does. <laughs> Think about it. Okay. Let's preface this. You know that I'm not trying to kill you, yes? Well, you haven't tried yet. That's exactly what someone who's trying to kill him would say. I... <laughs> you, told the... you took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. I have had multiple chances to kill you even before we met the group and I haven't. At this point, by the way, like, a couple of people have left the tavern and, like, saw this... Oh, I'm sure. And there's, like, a small... Oh. Fuck, like I'm not six, disguised! Six, seven... No, you're not disguised. Six, seven group of people just, like, standing, like, not where the rest of the group is standing, but kind of, like, to the side, just kind of, like, amongst themselves. Like, what's going on? What's this? One, of them, one of them being uh, Keleros, because he was out on a walk and, like, notices as well. So yeah. he's, he's among them as well. Like, if I see I a group forming... Mm-hmm. I think I'm just gonna hit them. There's nothing to see here. We are just trying to help our friends. <laughs> just move along with your day. Nothing. Move along. Is that a ghost? Along. Is that a ghost? No, as, it's nothing. To, as we hear cre- that, I'm just gonna tell oh. Jax. Jax, I don't want to do it. Do you, if you'd like some more privacy, I can make it a bit foggy I, um, right now. People stop looking at us, but it's not a it's I, not attack. Is that, that fine? After, after someone says it's not a ghost, I'll pull out like. My sim, I'm like, yes, it's a clerical matter that we're dealing with, so for your safety, <laughs> please move back. Please make a deception, get away make a deception. From the area. Like, what the haunting? Make a deception system. check. Yeah, fucking a deception <laughs> check. Oh, I fucking lose these gamers. <laughs> Damn, it's a four. <laughs> uh. <sighs> okay. Do I beat a four? like, I had plans for today. Now I don't. No, I didn't. I, literally, my notes for today are. No idea what's going on. This is going to be mostly talking, and Brooks has the charge here because I don't know what the fuck to expect. But those are my notes for today. So and then, this is the charge and here. Then, perfectly. Yeah, like, you know. Um, it's, it's, one of them um, is this like is this pudgy uh, this pudgy barkeep. Uh, he kind of looks at you and not quite buying that, but um. And kind of slowly steps away and turns around, followed by two other people. Uh, Be careful! One person, the blue one might try to kill you. One person, there's a shorter fella with a hood up uh, that you don't immediately recognize, is looking at this all go down, but isn't necessarily focused on the ghost, but looking in more into in Brooks's direction. And then it kind Do of I like this? kind of like tss, hat, like twirls, like heel spins and and walks away. Uh, and the other people that are there. Um, just keep standing there, and they're like, 
ghost, ghost. What's going on? Do I notice the person who was looking at Brooks? Make a perception check. Uh, Davian okay. just inside drinking, being like, we're yeah, all Davian, Davian, dude. <laughs> Is there still Wait, like... did the barkeep from the bar go out? Oh, yeah, he was like, what yeah. the fuck's going on? So you're, you're kind of like alone now. Yeah, I'm helping myself. Raid the bar, raid the bar. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm like leaning over the bar like fucking... Gonna get the shit be out here. 24. Yeah, you, yeah you, you notice that. Um, He's not actively trying to hide it. He's just like, oh. And then he spins, walks away. Shorter individual with a, with a hood up so you don't really see your face. But like you... Guesstimate that he's like he's like three feet tall max. He's not very big. Okay. Say three. Yeah. He's oh, like literally a halfling or a dwarf. Widowy. I'm, I'm, gonna... I'm gonna yell at the people he's around. Widowy hitting the gwiddy. Widowy. Back away from the blue lady. And she killed the cat and she's trying to kill me. <laughs> Hearing this, uh -huh. I'm gonna look at those same people and just be like. Fuck off inside, you fucking lucky loos. And as he does that, I'll just glow a little bit brighter and, like, make a really, like, threatening face. Yeah, at that point, but... everyone kind of backs up and runs away, except for Kelleros, and he kind of, like, sidles in with the rest of you. <laughs> What's going on here? Apparently, I'm trying to kill everyone. So, Jax, um, we're... Jax we're picked up something the on the road, and it seems to have manifested itself today. So... He's got a little bit timing. loopy. You're Tabaxi's friend. She... Yes. A, a ghost all this time. I'm actual projecting. It's a monk thing. I've studied for a very long time. Make a deception check. I mean, I, I technically did that before I died. Like, this is... But that's not what you're doing right now. You're lying. Projecting. Make a deception no, check. You're, it's not what you're doing right now. <laughs> uh, take your negative one. 15? 15, yeah. Man, 15. Not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll again? Meets equals beats, baby! Good oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. He just kind of looks at you, kind of like eyes you up and down. It's a long story. That's it's no like problem to me. If shit. you're if you're a ghost, it's, it's, looks cool. But it, yeah, she's she's a ghost. Elijah, so no, the fuck do I do? Oh your shit, I can't. The thing I want to try, I have to wait till tomorrow to do. So we have to wait. Why are you asking him what to do? Hang on, and I. Wait, I have, not, I have an idea. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I, guys? Would I know roughly about the romances? Jax, I let you use my forge. Don't know you. Promise you, I'm not here to kill you. Can I? <laughs> That's not convincing. <laughs> Stranger is probably the safest you. you'll feel yeah. at this point in time, right? I suppose. Or you could pick one person. If there's anyone in our group you trust, you could pick one kinda, person to come with you in Kelleros. Slowly walks up and, 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 and looks at you. And... Right. I'm not going to pretend that I understand anything about what's going on, but... I know a guy who might be able to help. And if you turn out to be right, then you can get the right people involved and, you know, lock her up so she can't hurt anyone ever again. But before we do that, we'll have to talk to the guy first. Who's this guy? He's not working for them, is he? Working for who? Yes, she, uh, she let almost everybody die in the hell. Of course not. He's a, I vouch for him. He's 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 completely independent. Oh, fuck sake. Well, I suppose I would like to go about this without having to resort to nasty measures. That's what I was thinking, right? And and word travels fast in areas like this. You don't want to, you know, get the guards involved, and and you'll be wanted for whatever it is you're about yes. to do. <sighs> Let your life over, right? And then, at, and then at that point, Kess still wins because she still ruined your life. And then I don't want it on land and water. Sure. <laughs> Just... When can we meet with this guy? Well, we can go right now. Uh, all right, but. Everybody else needs to keep a 30 foot distance. Yeah, we can just, it can just be you and me. Be... They can wait outside. It's, it's fine. Okay. And he kind of like escorts you 
I'm trying to make eyes at him to like be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he sees it, but he just ignores it. And he like slowly ushers you back onto the street. And he walks with you to a house. Uh, a house that seems relatively new compared to the other houses in this area. This seems to be like a, a lot more recently built compared to the rest of the houses in town. And uh, has a pretty like... A very pretty like metal like ha like knocker on the door. And it's gonna... Do -do -do. <clears throat> and the door swings open. And in front of you stands this uh, pretty tall... Um, elven... Uh, individual. Uh, oh, this hour, uh, what's, what's going on? And sees you two. And and Kalaros, just a moment of your time. That's all we need. Uh, we'll be out of your hair very soon. And he kind of like steps aside and lets you two in. Closes the door, and Kalaros kind of like locks the door with to make sure that you don't like run away, kind of thing. He's just gonna. Like, Takes the key out, puts it in his pocket. And you sit down and you're looking around. <laughs> and you're in a you're in a, like a living room at this point. But there's a lot of like religious iconography everywhere. And um Calrose goes, I'm sorry, Father, for the uh bother at this time of night, but um this man is in distress and would like for you to have a look at him. And at this point, you've been duped. You've been taken to a cleric. Like, that much is clear now, uh, Jax. Mm hmm <laughs> you be looked at? I've already been checked over. There's nothing wrong. Well, well then, then if me, that's, if that's the, the case, then, then what could it hurt? I'll just quickly have a look at you. You're fine. You're out the door, and you can go back to your night. I'm still not quite sure what the context about this is, but... Uh, Kilros, I, I thought this man would be arresting Kess. Now I said we're gonna first talk to a man, and if that man turns out to tell me that you're completely and 100 percent correct, then we'll get the people involved to get Kes arrested. But first, I said you had to talk to this man. Wanna roll an inside check? Sure. Meanwhile, outside, Brooks just goes up to Kes. What the fuck have you done? <laughs> I haven't done anything. Weirdly, He's convinced uh, you want to kill him. This isn't a Kess thing. Uh, great, great news. Kess didn't do this. Though he did make some good points, but we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> what? If you're going to kill the others, at least tell me first. Um, no, I believe he's probably suffering from some sort of form of insanity. Now, I what don't know that? fully how to get rid of it, because I don't know the true cause. Just... When he drinks, it's fine, but he's not had, like, alcohol for a couple of days, and it turns out that has made whatever has been lingering sort of happen now. I'm fairly certain itself. it's the same thing that happened and... to me. His brain, like my brain, got hit with some weird magic shit, and maybe alcohol mitigates the effect, and when he's sober, shit happens, but yeah, I I, really it's know. very, very similar to what happened to me. Yeah, I don't really know what um how to fix it, because... I've never, you know, didn't realize it was happening to you until the scene now. So yeah, I, my method of fixing it, I wouldn't suggest. So I'm out of ideas. No, I mean, it might be a curse, and if it is a curse, then it might take a while. <laughs> on a totally different note, uh, someone recognized Brooks. Like was it that cloaked guy oh, that was just like staring at him? Yeah, Fucking yeah, the cloaked guy, super short. At this point, by the way, Davian. Uh, the barkeep and this shorter cloaked individual uh, have both entered the tavern and they're kind of looking at each other like, what's going on out there? Now, I didn't see this person looking at me, right? Uh, no, you were kind of si busy with the whole Jax thing, you know. I mean, are there many people that fit the description in the town of Short? You have an idea <laughs> of who it could be, yeah. I mean, it could be two, actually. It could be two people. Yeah, you have a you have a vague idea of like potential suspects, but okay, that's a problem Hello. for later. Let's okay. fucking. Um, what did you roll in your insights, uh, Circle? Uh, seventeen plus two, so nineteen. He seems to be telling the truth. Like he seems to very much honestly be like, if this guy says that you're all right up there, they'll get. That means you're not lying, and they'll get people involved. Like those are his intentions right now. 
I suppose it wouldn't. This is going to get locked up. Me. Uh, this is going to get this, locked this cleric uh, kind of like puts on some like a necklace and 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 gets like wraps some things around his arms. All right. Um, you've been drinking tonight, sir. No, I haven't had a drink in days. But you do often drink. Uh, it depends on how stressful it gets, uh, but I find it clouds the mind, and I, I feel sadder than I ever have. Right, and kind of like makes some scribbles on some notes. Could be some form of addiction. All right. Um... <laughs> Does he have one of those therapy couches? Yes. <laughs> but he, uh, would you? I'm going to have to kind of touch and prod. Is that all right? I suppose, just be very diligent in explaining exactly what you're doing. Well, first, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put my hands on your head. And what that will do is I'm going to cast a spell. Um, that spell being, um, I'm going to cast... <clears throat> Hold on. Hold! I have it right here. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, give me a second. <laughs> Going to cast a spell called Detect Evil. And good, but evil in this case, just to make sure that, you know. Normally this is used to spot, you know, celestial elementals, fiends, and all that around you. But it can be used to see if, if someone or something has been magically... To consecrated or desecrated, which if you're afflicted by a curse or a, something along those lines, kind of similar idea. It's just make it's probably nothing, but we're just making sure we have to check. We have to go through all the checks, right? We have to be sure. Okay, I suppose. And he begins, and he he casts a spell. Oh dear. Uh, what? Uh, well, I don't think your friend's trying to kill you. But there is something in your head that shouldn't be there. And I can... Did guess pay you? No, I don't even know. Uh, I can double it. Sir, please. I am oh, a man of the gods. I don't take bribes, but you have evil in you, and I can get it out, painless, free of charge, and it will take a mere six seconds. Insight check. Make an insight check. <laughs> He's been I can't off. wait for him to come out and be like lobotomized and be like, I'm <laughs> fine. 18. I'm, I'm 18. He seems very genuine. He spotted something inside of you that he's like, that's bad, and he needs to get it out. I suppose, but only if it's quick. Six seconds. Needs a laxative. And he puts his hand on your chest, and with his other hand, goes into a pouch that he's, that he's wearing, and kind of like dusts your head with, uh, with diamond dust, and puts his other hand on your forehead. And he casts Great Restoration. And as you kind of like blink, you open your eyes, you can see that as he removes his hand from your head, there's this black, like, smoke. He's kind of like pulling out of your head. He's kind of like has it pulled in his hand now. And he takes a small, like, bottle and just guides it in there and shows it to you, like, like corks it up, shows it to you. Feel better? Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. oh. Take that as a yes. And he kind of like. You want to keep it or you want me to get rid of it? Ew. I'd like to keep it. Just make sure you don't, you know? Oh yes, uh, of course. Hands it to you. Yeah, he uh, he has cured your lingering madness. Yeah, that's not good. 
And for those oh, that are curious, <laughs> Jax's lingering madness added a flaw which states drinking when keeps me sane. Oh. Oh, so, so because now he, stopped he stopped drinking, drinking he for a crazy. few days, he went a little cuckoo. Uh, the Alzheimer's caught up with the old man. He finally uh, remembers. So Kalaros kind of looks at you. I've been sitting on this for months. <laughs> yeah. Kalaros looks at you. Are you alright, Jax? Are you feeling alright? Um, well, I don't really feel alright, but I feel more like myself, I suppose. Right. I just feel bad. The cleric, uh, uh, if you want, I can come with you and explain to your friends what had happened, if, if that makes it easier or better. I think I should apologize myself. All right, and Kalaros kind of takes the key from his pocket and unlocks the door. Thanks very much, Father. I apologize for intruding at such a late time, but this was kind of urgent. And, and the cleric kind of did nods, and it's quite all right. I uh, understand. You need anything else? Just uh, let me know. Kalaros right, opens the uh, front door and kind of like motions for you, Jax, to come with him. Yeah, I'm like, get up and deactivate my armor. <laughs> and walk outside. Uh, are the rest really of you still kind of like gathered like across the street oh, from yeah. the house that they went into? Yeah, we're just I'm talking. I'm surely like accusing Cass of like, what have you done to <laughs> fucking wind I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> so you see the door open, you see Jax and Kalaros walk out and slowly coming towards you guys like across the street. How right? um, Jax look? Is he like tail tucked between his legs? Yeah. He's I'll like, leave you to it. Uh, just, uh... Jax, good luck. I'll uh, I'll be home if any of you need anything. And he just kind of <laughs> leaves. And Jax just uh, takes his hat off his head and kind of holds it in his hands. Revealing Aww. tinfoil. Well, no, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Oh no! He peels the tin foil out the inside. Yeah, yeah, just that. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I was so sure that Kess was trying to kill us. You crazy Kess wanted to kill us. Most of us would probably be dead at this point. Oh, thanks. And I mean, I had a similar thing, so I, I, I get it. It's just it, the drinking. It, it was fine, you know. It, it made me feel good, so I kept doing it. And then I thought, well, maybe I'm drinking a little too much. At back, and then the dots started appearing. Is it like fixed forever now, or is it like you're gonna go? Well, I have this, and I'll pull out the jar of madness. The fuck is in there? <laughs> Right, well, that's some sort of brain or something. Uh, this was in me. Yeah, what it looks like is just like it's just like a cloud of black smoke. Yeah. Right. Why mean, you, you can huff just a little bit of it to get a weird like semi madness? Uh, why? Right. Why would why? you keep that? Like, what? What? What do you? What? Uh, what? Why the fuck else would you keep it? Uh, uh, throw well, I was enemy. thinking maybe we could weaponize it, but yeah, ah, maybe it's feels... not. As someone that's generally morally very vague, that oh, yeah. feels chemical warfare, oh. my favorite. <laughs> the madness no, it's cannon. Madness warfare. It's the madness, madness campaign. Can... We won't kill him, we'll just make him go batshit fucking cuckoo. Oh. No, you do that so it makes it easier to kill him. We throw a kingdom into despair with just one jar. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you can imagine just making the league leader Give fucking. <laughs> I guess I'm so sorry. Kess just and goes over. Everyone. And she gives Jax a hug. Oh. And slips Aww. a dagger between his ribs. <laughs> yeah, <not laughs> you should have embraced your cunt. <laughs> it's only paranoia if you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. You were always going to be first. <laughs> it's always the old man that dies first, okay? Else he'll sense her regards. <laughs> I'm converting to the Nightwebs. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. You went fucking it, crazy? Well, to be fair, the, the, 
dots to make some sort of fucked up sense. You still went crazy though. And like, you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. We, we've all been there, Jack. But you You've know. all thought I was going to kill everyone? No, we've all been oh. crazy. That makes more sense. Yeah, paranoid. Are you, sir? Seems like you're going a bit crazy there, Kess. I've been <laughs> Just... absolutely fine. I don't know what's going on with the rest of you. So that bit earlier in, in your home where you just decided to get up and leave. No, no, that's, that's, that's perfectly sane. That's called avoiding the problem. Mm. Kind of crazy. You know, Davin is just sitting in the bar, just minding his own business. Just having a <laughs> Davin's got his feet up. Uh, Davin's like, I've trip. got the kookiest friends. Oh. The, the oh. Is anyone going to go fetch so him? Someone gonna tell him? Yorick's currently beating I'll the go. shit out of him for stealing from the bar. I'll go talk to him in a sec. Well... Mm -hmm. I think it's time for a good drink, maybe, if you don't particularly want anyone, Jax, that's completely understandable, especially now I mean, that you're around. You'll never have to worry about being the only, like, sober one in the group, because I, I won't be drinking, so. I need to go have a conversation with my dad. Are you going to be okay? I'll have some of that. Uh, I, I should be alright. Um, Just going to give him a firm pat on the shoulder. Please, if, like, if you do genuinely think that one of us is trying to murder you, please just talk to me first, rather than trying to... Oh, when I was going, in my head, it's, Kes was with you, I couldn't tell you, and she was always around before. I mean, I it's nice that in your head you didn't believe that I was trying to kill you. Well, what reason would you have to kill me? I mean, what reason would Kes I'm have? not going to answer that what on the ground, do I, have? I don't want you to think that uh, well, I Well, Kes, you could have been trying to steal my proprietary armor technology. Why wouldn't I steal that? Uh, it seems a little out of your wheelhouse. You're, I mean, Jax, we're all trying to get into your okay. into your will. So, you know, we're just waiting for you to bite the, bite the dust <laughs> and who will be the ones getting the armor. Jokes you on you, whoever kills me gets my stuff. So Are you saying I'm better than you? this look. <laughs> <laughs> I might further. need to revise that. <laughs> yeah, you probably should, just in case. You're a heavy sleeper. <laughs> That's why I have my tin cans. Very true. <laughs> I forgot that the alarm spell was just put I... <laughs> <laughs> You've got a high-tech spider robot for cure wounds, and then fucking alarm is just string hey, If it works, redneck engineering, baby. If it works, don't fix it. Hey, Ooh, raise hell, praise Dale, baby. Yeah, roll tide. Roll tide. <laughs> roll tide. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just take a board back to the cabin and. I don't need one of them fancy doorbells with the camera. I can just put some tin cans and some string on my lawn. Um, okay, so, y'all, uh, home. does everyone go to the tavern and Brooks goes home to talk to, uh, dear old dad? Is that kind of the, the game plan here? I think I mean, so. It I, like I assume that at some point, Kess and Dai are going to come in to crash it. No, but I'm talking, like, for now. Like, now the immediate now. plan of action. Yes. For now. Yeah, we don't want the awkward silence that you can cut with a knife. Like butter, oh, baby. Like, like butter. butter. Actually, it's a lot harder because it's like really thick, awkward silence. Tension like Marmite. All right. Uh, we'll say that for now. Y'all go to the tavern. Brooks, you going to the tavern as well, or are you going home first? To talk to I'm dad? going yeah. home to talk to Dad. Okay. Uh, as you guys we'll, uh, uh, get yeah. get close to the tavern, you can sort of hear a a ruckus from coming from inside. Okay. And uh, as you as you walk in, Davian, he's got a stack of empty cups on his table. <laughs> he's got his arm over the shoulder of the barkeep. One cup in the air, like. Oh, Yorick is fully like in for that, bro. Yorick is fully. Like, There's like a smaller. <laughs> the smaller, like the shorter individual that I described with the, the piercings and the, the face tattoos and his hood up is like stood on top of the bar holding Yorick's other arm and like just joining you as well. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Uh, right. Drinks! And we'll take our break there. <laughs> uh, we'll go on our break real quick. 
Thanks so much for watching so far, y'all. Appreciate you. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to uh, continue this. It's been, uh, it's been fun. <laughs> that felt like a whole special. <laughs> Crazy, you guys. Be right are, back, okay? y'all. Mm -hmm.
I Hello there! The situation. Hello. 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 They're being sneaky. They're not abiding by the truth. <laughs> What's happening? Um, hey, y'all, we're that back. That part. All right. So, let's uh, like, go, go like, Brooks. It's like... What is happening? Let's get straight back into into things. So everybody, um, everybody goes to the tavern except for uh for Brooks, uh, and you you kind of see the sight of this shorter fella standing on top of the bar, one arm around the barkeep. Um, <clears throat> this like for some of you that haven't seen him yet, this this the barkeep, um, about five foot four. He's not very tall. Face tattoos, looking pretty pretty pudgy. Uh, this individual who'd still like. Uh, there's the shorter individual hood up, but you do catch now that he's kind of like jolly and 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 singing along. Uh, similar, like also like pretty pretty heavily tattooed and some piercings on his face. And then Davian on the other side of of the barkeep, just just, uh, uh, just having a great old time. So that's the that's that that's what you walk in on when you all enter the tavern. Oh, round of drinks. Huh? A round of drinks for my friends here. Everyone else in the tavern. At this point, it's just you. On you the three. house, of you, course. You three, and now you're now uh, the rest of the party, but barring Brooks. And all the other people in this tavern. <laughs> Everyone. He begins pouring uh, mugs of ale for everybody. Oh, sod the money. It's fine. It's, I'm in a good mood. And who's to the big blue bastard that brought us all together? In sign language, I say to Kes, like, if it wasn't so unethical to possess people when they can't consent, it'd be really funny to possess Davin right now and be like, hey, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Because uh, I bet you it'd be real easy right now. <laughs> um, you should do it anyway. I'm going to go to bed. I don't know, go up to Alazan's room and fall asleep. <laughs> nice. Uh, you got your own room. You can go cuddle. No, I don't think. I don't think Jack. I mean, Alazan's not even going to know I until he gets up there. No, but it wasn't like a room, however many silver or some shit. I just put down a fucking like gold. <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah, but you only did. got the two keys. Oh, fucking. I'll get a third key later. <laughs> um. Fucking, fucking... This this shorter individual now kind of like hops off and does his hood goes down, and now you get like a proper uh, proper look at him. Um, quickly whip out the description. Uh, and uh -oh. Ethan, your fucking backstory notes. There's a lot of text there, guys. There's a lot of text here. It is nice There's and labeled. A lot though, of text so there, guys. I know exactly where to. You know, where they... it's the most like organized, it's very organized shit I've yeah. ever written. It's very organized. Uh, this individual. Um, Blonde hair, his face covered in piercings and some like traditional tattoos. Uh, pretty patchy, goatee, um, seemingly gnomish. And he kind of hops off the bar and uh, sits down with his ale. So, uh, who are you then, huh? And how come you uh, you travel with Brooks of all people? Well. I mean, sort of first question is, who are you? Oh, sorry. Uh, you can call me uh, Nilatos. Uh, friends call me Niles, though. No. Niles. <laughs> Niles, okay. I mean, him go, uh, go way back. Didn't expect to see him here ever again, to be honest, so I'm curious. Yeah, what well, are you guys doing traveling with that? Ne'er do well. What was that? I said, what What are they doing traveling around with that ne'er-do-well? Circumstance put us together, and he's been a, <coughs> no. a very it's good fine. ally since. Fair enough, fair enough. We're doing him a favor. You ever mentioned me? How much he misses me? Now that you mentioned Constantly. the name, that know. name... <laughs> Never heard it before. You're full of shit. Well, I just said I never heard the name before, so you know. No, he was talking to talking to Kes. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> why? Who? Why is he th thinks we got into? <laughs> hey. Why? Why would you be so uh, memorable? 
Well, I've... Because he's small. Fantastic. That is also, also very accurate. You've, you've got some two ties there. No, it's, it, we used to work together, and I was, you know, he just kind of disappeared one day, and, um, you know, I, I understand why, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't expect to see him back here ever, really. So, I'm just, just surprised is all. What type of work? You travel with Brooks? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know the type of work. Wow. No, is it Being down? a bastard. That's one way of putting it, yeah. Yeah. Wearing shit suits. No, not quite. Do their tattoos look at all similar? Niles and Brooks? Um, I don't know. Uh, they're not like... They got matching tattoos? Yeah, they like... They're not <laughs> matching, but like... Like but stylistically? Like, like stylistically the same tattoo artist? Did both like done by the same guy, probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's only one guy who fucking does them in this town. Oh, fair. <laughs> Who says there's one in this town? Never said they got them. Yeah. Who's your FDK if going to the big city? <laughs> fucking, those are dark. I like your, your tattoos. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, they uh, got snow in the leg. Not. Can I check if he's missing an arm or a leg? Yeah, not literally. <laughs> They're expensive. <laughs> why the um? Why the secrecy? Secrecy? Before. Guys, I think you meant someone else's arm or leg. Huh? It was being secretive. What are you talking about? You were sort of sleeping around, Brooks, earlier outside with your cloak up. Well, yeah. I Whose was... arm? No one lost an arm I mean, or a leg. I was just... just, just manner of speaking, it was expensive. What I, what like, smell means. of the morning, Davian. Smell of the what? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, no. Smells like pissy sugar puffs. <laughs> Right. Uh, uh, just, just curiosity and um. You're well, not on the best terms of Brooks, are you? Oh, we're all right. Don't worry. There's no, no, no animals. Inside, check. Yeah, no inside <laughs> check. I would also you like to inside check. Yeah, sure, go for it. This man for the fucking shit. <laughs> uh, twenty-seven. Right. No, there doesn't seem to be any animosity. Like he's genuinely surprised to see Brooks. Like he. One of the few people that doesn't have an issue with Brooks per se. Do I also just get? Do I get the vibe he's just trying to find out more from his like about his mate, or is it more there is some sh he's he's working an angle as well? Like, is um, he was it twenty seven? Like, I'll say that he's definitely curious, and it's just more is it there? Is it more curiosity, or do it? Is there the sense of like there's some fucking it's, it's curiosity mainly, uh, trying to feel you out and like how much you know about him, just in case he like slips up and says something that he shouldn't. Yeah, know, yeah, that kind of thing. Cool. Well, is he uh, staying with his old man, or is he uh, is he stay spending the night here tonight? Do you know? I believe he's probably staying with his uh, child. They have a bit of catching up to do as the uh, heir. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that one. Um, I don't know. Up the tension with a spear. Um, I don't know much about uh, exact circumstances between them before Brooks left, but I can imagine. A bit rough. You uh, you know if he's uh, gonna be in town for 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 a while or? Most probably not. Right. I, well, I think it all depends on how his conversation with his father goes. Because yeah. it might be Fair reason enough. for him to stay longer. But... Well, if you do manage to to catch him, uh, let him know. Niles would like to talk and catch up. I'll be here. The next we'll few do. days, and uh, let him know that it uh, might benefit him to come speak to me before he leaves. Okay. Sell my uh been to Fabris footing and I've learned a thing or two. Whereabouts? Fuck. Where's my map? Hold. <laughs> 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 Um, it's just all around, uh, I can spend some time traveling around, uh, doing odd jobs for people here or there. Um, 
Man Magni's Blessing, um, Bryce Town, uh, uh, to name a couple places that uh, I spent some time. Yeah, I was uh, <clears throat> I was Bryce Town looking these days. Uh, when was this? Uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, I was Bryce Town. Not so bad. It's um, not my not my type of place. I prefer the the bigger cities, if you will. But uh, that's all right. You're in the about right place. As big place, as you get in Faber's foot in, but hmm? I said it's about as big as you get in Faber's foot in, but uh, I suppose that's true. I'm a uh, never spent more than. Few weeks at a time in Ferris Footing now, just to work related. You know. And what kind of work were you doing in Bryastown? None of your business, is it? Oh, that's probably similar work that we've just had to do. Well, it depends. I don't think he's in the same line of work as we are, Elijah. Hmm. You might have ties. People possess certain things, and uh, sometimes people want a certain thing that another person possesses, and then they hire people to take that thing from that one person's possession and make sure that it ends up in their possession. And sometimes that possession said to be in better hands. Uh, from those who from Briarstown. What'd you say, dude? What are you after in Briarstown? Uh, just. I think it. What kind of trinket? You're very, you're very secretive. We're very far from Briar's now. You don't need to be. We're all continent away at this point. Make a yeah, make a persuasion check because he's also pretty, like he's pretty drunk. He's, he's he's not like per se trying to, you know. Yeah. Oh, Get him persuaded. Right. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This motherfucker's red lotus, man. <laughs> I didn't have my sheet open this whole time. I haven't had to roll anything yet. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Persuasion, 22. Uh, some wand, some description. I'm not exactly sure what it did. But I paid a handsome sum to make sure that it ended up in someone else's hands by the time I left. Can I insight check that he didn't know what it did? I feel like maybe he's... Like an insight check. I feel like he knows more than that, surely. Uh, 18. No, he seems genuine. Seems uh forthright. Where'd you where'd you get this one from then? Uh, it's some old sod. It's uh, kind of some old sod. Lived in a uh, small cottage, not not in Briarstown, just outside it, and uh you know, really, don't know much about him, but uh, Apparently, some kind of old teacher at a at a magic school in the kingdoms and retired up there. Davian visibly relaxes. <clears throat> okay. And then what you just sort of like give it to someone? They what put it in a? I shouldn't say too much, eh? Yeah, I shouldn't say too much, eh? What are you talking about? Oh well, no, you know you just procure a certain thing. Or certain s several someone's. Yeah, I've put it in better the, hands. The money for it. I mean, it's just uh, they they hire me, they pay me not to ask many too many questions, and I make sure that I get the item. Quite good at my job. <laughs> nah, no. it's kind of how I met Brooks, really. Same line of work. Colleagues, if you will. You think same... he sees it that way? Oh, I, I, Employer? I so. Uh, back then, yes. Is this with a new employer now? Sorry? This is with a new employer now. Dude, can you ask for that one more time without that dick in your mouth? Is it with the new employer? Now, uh, so I handed it out. Yeah, I don't know what they did with it, whether he passed it on to the person that hired us or, or not. I have no idea. 
Fair enough. Really my, my position to ask questions. I just make sure that I get the thing that I got paid for to get. <clears throat> Fair. Man, but we Jen really should get out of here soon, eh? Mm -hmm. Just uh, tell Brooks that I'd like a word and um, might benefit him. Niles. That's it. I'm gonna fucking head to bed. Niles. Galatos. Niles. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna ask the buggy. Is Bunny Chance getting another room? I'm paying another gold. <sighs> Fuck it, mate. <sighs> hand you a key. He's also like, he's pissed. Like he's 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 been yeah, drinking. I mean, I'll still hand him. I'll stand him a gold. Or at least I put it on the side and just hope no one else fucking nicks it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pick. Oh, we're the only ones in there anyway tonight, so. Fair enough. I mean, I'll. Fucking out. Pick Rand, whatever one, and then just. I'm go to bed. Niles kind of hops off the. Um. Of the seat and, uh. Same time tomorrow, eh? And uh, kind of nods at uh, the barkeep and takes his leave from the tavern. Uh, while that was all going on, uh, Brooks, you headed home. Yes. As you get home, um, you, you get upstairs and uh, Kelleros is just kind of sitting there. On the on the couch, just having a drink, kind of kind of lounging more than anything, really. He hears you come up and uh, looks at you. Time for bed. Time for a long overdue conversation. Who are you? What have you done to my son? You know I'm not good at this. Fucking, you're not good at this shit. Neither of us are good at this shit. I know, but, uh... Hey, Dad, I'm leaving for a while because I accidentally killed someone. Something along those lines. Would have been nice. Instead of having me worried sick and have Yorick of all people, that scumbag, tell me what the fuck happened. Yorick's not that bad. You fucking he's kidding me. It, but he's not. You have him to thank, by the way, for the fact that there's no bounty out for your arrest right now. I gathered. I. But I doubt I... he even knows you're in town right now. He says what you do. I didn't necessarily know how to deal with it, and I didn't want you and Yorin to be involved. Why didn't you just thing... say goodbye at the very least? Was like that lousy of a father that I didn't even warrant a goodbye? No, I... I'll be honest, I didn't really think about it. I just grabbed the shit I had stashed at the tavern and fucking went. It wasn't a... Uh conscious decision not to come and see you and I How'd that bastard even attack you anyway? Or what happened? Let... Can I just have the truth from you, please, instead of having to rely on what Yorick told me? Do you know we took that job and came back early? Right. I went back to the tavern and Elle was there and mm -hmm. he had company. He kind of looks at you and just... <sighs> right. And that turned into an argument which turned into a fight and... Who swung first? I... Genuinely and honestly don't remember. Probably me. But I don't know. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I... So your girlfriend was cheating on you and you killed the man that she was cheating on you with? I don't know if it's better or worse that I didn't know he was dead.
You are. I know. Unbelievable. No wonder she decided to skip town soon after you did. I mean, it's probably not the best place to stay where everyone knows what you did. Because it was aired in front of everyone. It's a small town. Tell me about it. Is. I'm not going to say that I'm happy with what you did, what you did but... You killed someone. And instead of dealing with the consequences, you ran away. Leaving me behind, leaving Ren behind. The heart. It's but I raised you situation. better. I would have helped you find a way to set it right, you know. I wouldn't have just turned you in or anything. My son. We could have fixed things. We could have... If things went really badly, I... I didn't want you to be involved in case things went badly, because... If I got locked up, then... You got locked up with me, then uh, Ren wouldn't have managed on his own. And you know that he wouldn't. I know, I know. Would have been nice to at least get a letter or something. Trust me, I fucking tried. I have learned that I am not good at writing letters. Kinda, he, he stands up and just begins like pacing through the room. The the others can vouch. I have had half written letters in my bag for fucking oh, two months. All right. I don't need some time to really. Get a grasp on, you know, the truth. But it's good to see that you're doing all right, son. I don't know if all right's the best word for it. You're alive, aren't you? you made some friends. You put your right to me. We have done some. I feel very out of my depth with this group, and I feel like sometimes I am trying to keep them alive, not from the things that we do, but from themselves. And I'm not good at being the one that is looking after someone else. Shit. Like, you know it's bad when I'm trying to convince them that things are okay. Yeah, if you're the one looking out for them, I feel kind of sorry for them, to be honest. Fucking... A Lazarin's fucking paranoid as shit and has every right to be, because he just manages to piss off important people. Fucking... Cass has the most fucked up childhood with an absentee father that has only now turned up because he's dying. Fucking... Everyone's meddling in, like, magic and shit that I have no idea what the fuck's going on, and I just hit things. Well, you don't just hit things. You're pretty good at it. Look, look at the shit that Jax is building. The fuck is going on with that? I can't believe he made that armor himself. He's like, uh, see, I do smithing and all that, but I, you know, the whole magic side of things is... It's not part of what I do, but that's by his work. He's, he's good at it. I've helped in here and there, and obviously, you, you know, you toured me. I, 
I can make the basics, but... Oh, that's... Fucking... Cass and Diagon have been here before and met you. Huh? Maybe not Diagon. Cass definitely... Cass has been here and has bought a dagger from you that I made before I'd ever fucking met her. Did Cass look like Cass at that time? I don't know. Yes. And I, I wasn't with you at that time. I'm pretty sure. No, you were. Oh, I'll give you that. Never mind. She did look familiar, but I couldn't place it. I fucking... I met this woman. That must have and been... I was like, that looks really I... familiar. She's got a fucking dagger that I made before I even fucking met her. If that doesn't feel like a fucking stalker, then I don't know what is. That is weird. That is weird, yes. Oh, it's so... Everything in this group is fucked. <laughs> Igan's a fucking ghost. <coughs> she she wasn't she was all... She's been like that shit. for a week. Yeah, six days. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm not going to begin to tell you that I understand, but... It's so fucked up. Right. How about you and me, we, instead of me holding a grudge, which I've done the past while, don't get me wrong, kept me kind of grounded, but you're my son and I love you, I don't want to grow old having this grudge against you. Can you make me a promise? It depends what you're asking. Send dear old Dal a letter every once in a while. Keep me up to date with what the hell you're doing. To start. And your friends have kind of let some things slip, and now I'm starting to think of... Maybe Ren going with those people wasn't such a good idea. We don't have... Oops, we don't know that anything is bad. I... I don't think that there's anything untoward in it, but we're gonna check up on him. He's, you know, he's he's older than me, but he's my little brother, and we're gonna check up on him. Let me know how that goes. If you don't get a letter from me, then we might be in a different plane of existence. But I will try. Right. Is that fair? Sure. It's... Apparently we've got to go find a flower at some point. And now we've got to go check in on Ren and... Uh, okay. I don't I don't mean to, you know, uh, but let me know how things go. And just write me every once in a while. Hey, da, things are all right. Or not. Just would be nice to, to have a sign of life every once in a while. Because for all I could have known, you could have been dead. Or caught by the law or, or whatever. And surprisingly hard to kill. Right. But I see your point, and I will... Fuck it. I'm sure Kes would love to send you a letter and tell you that I'm fine. I, um, have something to admit. Now that oh you're here. God. Thinking of, uh, settling the place. Leave. Leave in Stonefall. It's just, with, with Ren gone, I... Not much keeping me here, is there? Thinking of moving to a place... Slightly bigger and, uh... More facilities around me, like a bigger city, so that's... If, if Ren comes back, maybe uh, I'll have a little, little better care. And, um, Where are you thinking of going? Not sure, maybe Dharamuth, or... Um, uh, make the move to, like, like a Kalzir or, or, or something. I mean... 
Surely they, they need smithies too, right? So I can just get a job elsewhere. Yeah, I... It you know it's it's a trade that always seems to do well. There's never really a shortage of work. Yeah, there's always some kind of war going on somewhere, or people fighting. So the need for sword is is endless. So armor, and all that. I mean, Stonefall is a shithole. To be fair, right? I don't say I've I've lived here most of my life. I, to be honest, I always assumed that you stayed. The only reason I really stayed was because of Ren, and moving with him would just wouldn't be possible, but now that he's not here, if he does end up coming back or, or whatever, then if I make sure that I've moved by then, then there's no issues, right? And more opportunities in a bigger city, and, and you know, bigger temples and clerics, and... and People that can care for him, for instance. So, you know, it's been on my mind for a while now. Then, uh. Then. Thayer's parents live not far out of Dyrmouth. Yes, but, um. No. To be honest, we've never really spoken about that side of the family. That's because they're just... Ever since she died, they've just kind of... Not once sent a letter or, or, or came by to, 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 to you know check on their grandson or anything, so... And I wrote that side of the family off, to be honest. It's truly been just me and him. Especially with you gone. Well... Pretty much all the family I have. I mean, the upside is that doing the dumb shit we're doing pays well, so... Maybe if I were a bit younger, I would join you on that, but... Um, <laughs> getting quite up there in age. What's, um... What's Eldilon like? Fuck. Warm. It's on half. It's... Rain's here half the time. It's like... It's like Darmouth, but everything's new. Everything... You know, everyone's still sort of trying to figure out their place and... They've got a smithy there. Pretty sure. There's a... There's a crafting district and a fucking uh there was a like a crafters guild with a forge in it I'm pretty sure I plan a visit check it out and see what it's like got any recommendations I'm checking the map <laughs> yeah, there is a crafting district there's the fucking crafting union yeah, got pretty much everything there. <clears throat> any any recommendations for Eldalon? Yes, I'm just building a retirement plan. Don't go into the jungle unless you're taking medicine with you. No, I'm thinking, you know, any recommendations for places to visit there? You know, good bars, pubs. Uh, I mean, there. The places I go might not be your sort of clientele, slash. What's that mean? <laughs> the tavern I spend time in most tends to be a little on the seedier side. More on the what mainly side? because on the seedier. Right. In more ways than one. Mainly, before you cast dispersions at me, mainly because they're appreciative of having me there if someone kicks off. Right. I mean... So what you're saying is, da, don't come there because you can embarrass me in front of my friends? The more of a, 
Dad, don't come there if you feel prudish about anything. Right. Everyone might, wears their um, feelings on their sleeve and not much else. Might try, <sighs> I might I might buy a passage over there and just a little vacation. Haven't really had one since ever, really. I feel like you would either love it or hate it. Need to find out, and um, yeah, if I, I might move, but I'll, I'll, I'll just, can I, if I want to write you, is there any way, any, anywhere that I can send my letters? Oh god, uh, sure, I might not get it for some days, weeks, months, but if we're in a place where we can't write, then I'll make the cleric do some magic shit. Right, but do you have like an address that I can send things to? I'll write down the address to fucking Friendly Giant. <clears throat> yeah, like puts it in uh, one of his drawers and uh, on the <clears throat> like one of the little side tables. All right, well, didn't expect um, this conversation with you, but I've got my things off my chest, and uh, let's just try and look forward. Yeah. Just don't kill past. me in the night, and I won't do the same. Don't piss me off. <laughs> and no promises there. Alright, well, I've had a day. I'm gonna head to bed. I will see you in the morning. You're cooking breakfast, by the way. This dinner was really good. I gathered. Let's face it. And he, like, stands up and walks towards you and begins to kind of go for a hug, but then swiftly transitions into, like, a, like a firm handshake. Pat on the shoulder. Pat on the back and, like, a handshake. I'll give him, like, a a very quick, brief hug. We're really not good at this, are we? Nope. Oh. <sighs> nice one. Good night. He heads to his room. Uh, sh uh, as like the rest of you guys all went to bed, uh, did Diagon and Kess like make their way to? Yeah, we like go back across the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get inside and you. Not much noise happening. It seems that both Brooks and uh, Keller also have already gone to bed. Uh, he told you that you both can take uh, Ren's room, uh, the bed because it was like a bed. Or Ren being like sick, it's it's a little bigger than your average bed, so you could probably just both of you would probably fit in there quite comfortably. I don't sleep. Oh, true that. You don't even need sleep. to, but there is room for so, you if you want to lie down. <laughs> I'm still in ghost form too, and I'm just stay that way since apparently people here are relatively chill with it. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just stay this way I for mean, a bit. Um, there was a group of people that were like, oh, ghost, and then they got ushered to fuck off. And in the tavern itself, it was like they were drunk, I mean, and yeah. you've not really seen much more people. Oh. Whatever. Since I don't sleep, what instead mm -hmm. I'm gonna do? Okay. Um, An eight hours redecorate. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna. That'd be funny. Just feng shui your house. <laughs> I can't touch things. That's true. Oh, you can't hold things. I put Come your up. kitchen in the in the living before, room. Before before Kes goes to bed, I'll ask if she doesn't mind getting my body back for me out of the vessel. I will do that. Cool. I can touch things. Uh, um, this is like, I uh, mind deeply. No. Go oh, she could have said no. Body now. She could have said no, but whatever. Um, so while there's, well, I'm going to, from the first bit, just kind of like writing sketchy journal I could do, and then I get bored. So closer to the morning, I'm going to go through the kitchen and I'm going to make breakfast for everyone before everybody wakes up. Because wow. I'm bored. This and I don't need to sleep. Interesting, because she can't taste. Yeah, <laughs> it's all just on. But, it's all on but, memory. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's based. I'm working from memory because I cannot taste it, but I know how to cook. Things. All of the jars are unlabeled. <laughs> oh yeah, eggs are supposed to look like that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. can't taste it, but it looks good. Looks. I'm looks going right. by look <laughs> look of everything and and feel because I can still feel also textures of things, but I mm -hmm. cannot smell or taste. So Kes will be up, so she's just kind of there. Like, do you want me to try it? 
Yeah, every, every so often I'd be like, Tess, what does this taste like? Tess, does, what does this taste like? And get Cass to tell me things. Right. Um, Need salt. Yeah, and uh, we'll say that you all long rest, and those that wake up yeah, at yeah. Uh, Brooks and Calarosa's place, you wake up to the sight and sound and scent of uh, breakfast sound. What you know, breakfast spices being made. would there be in this place, Brooks? Like, of the basic things, like, you know, like oh. eggs, bread, whatever, sure, but spice wise, like, Spice cupboard. Um, what, what's there before I say? Because then I need to make sure I this is within reason. I mean, realistically, probably not anything insanely hot, but like basic herbs. Not like heat, but just like what about things like cinnamon esque or like yeah, cardamom like, or nutmeggy type of like uh, cinnamon nutmeg. Sure, just fucking like, made up words. Turmeric. So, okay, <laughs> so what? Well, here I'll say what I'm intending no to make. No saffron, then, obviously. Yeah, you tell <laughs> me if anything's missing. Um, so what you come down to is a very large pot of like porridge, but it has a very like creamy consistency. Um, uh, but also, and it looks like there's either like if this is if if there was something resembling dried fruits of any kind, like dried raisins, dried dates, <laughs> dried currants or berries, they'd be in there. I feel like um, that's more of a Dutch question. I feel like Brooks definitely like was in the process of like dabbling and learning how to cook properly when he lived there. So all of and he wouldn't have taken all of those things with him when he suddenly dipped. So the more like shelf stable things like spices and dried things, well, yeah, I'll say that that's there. Yeah, so why not? It, it's a case of has dad been living off like okay? So any yes, any much. sort of dried fruits or berries that I could find were in there. Other it's like a a porridge thickened and sweetened with like milk and honey, and then a little bit of spices that would be like cinnamon or nutmeg, and then there's just some hard boiled eggs some salt and pepper on them uh so there's like a plate of like hard-boiled eggs uh peeled but ready to be eaten salted and peppered and then the bowl of porridge and if there was any meat i'll make some bacon and it'll be a range half of it'll be crispy half will be like less crispy because i don't know what people like <laughs> <laughs> we right. and then the there's and then there's some bread sliced and out on the table for and some butter for toast we try the porridge and realize that Dagon actually has no way of telling the difference between salt and sugar. <laughs> it's meant to be sweet. All along. It's all poisoned. Well, uh, Kess will be poison. tasting it. So mm -hmm. I was, it, and I, was poisoning. So I intended for it to be, it's a fairly rich, sweet, it's almost like dessert porridge, but it's still traditional breakfast uh, where it came from. So it, it basically, when I asked Kess, is this too sweet? It depends on Kess's sweet tooth. And I told her what I was so going for, really but sweet. it's up to her. Mm -hmm. The eggs and so bacon, I can tell by sight. I can tell if they're done properly. So everything's that, that's real it. sweet, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like my... pretty sweet, but like not teeth rottingly. Because pre, pre death, I also preferred sweeter flavors. Like sweet's my go to taste. So it between the two of us, it probably is fairly. Like just shy of cloyingly sweet, mm -hmm. just too shy, just shy of too sweet for breakfast, but like on that edge. All right, yeah. So you guys have some breakfast and uh, be good. Those that wake up at the tavern, um, who have you, you got you come downstairs and there's like a table set up and there's like, it's not much, but there's some like eggs. They can uh, come have my breakfast. If they there's want. there's some bread, some some like. Like a like a wheel of cheese that you can kind of slice something off of, and uh, and behind the bar, uh, Doric just kind of stands there, like keeping his face, his head up, with like elbow on the bar, keeping his head up like this. I'll go <laughs> what in food? All I have, make something of it. <clears throat> I love that. So you can have some food there, or you can choose to leave and see if there's any anything better to get at uh, Brooks's place. But I'll leave that up to you. Because I made Try enough portion-wise, if there was enough provided, that in case the group came back, it would there be enough, and everything else keeps fine. Like cooked bacon, the cooked eggs, the porridge will keep okay if he needed to keep some of it. I'll, I'll try his food. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> See how it is. I mean, I love whatever's going. It was included on the bill. Yeah, it's just, it's not much. It's just like there's some bread, there's some some eggs, there's like like I said, a piece of cheese you can kind of like slice some slices off of. Ah, uh, yes, much, but, bread, uh, eggs, and cheese. Yeah, man. Cornerstone Dutch. of any healthy diet. It's a very Dutch breakfast to be fair. Hey, <laughs> bro, eggs are expensive now, right? You should be glad. 
I just had Dutch eggs. breakfast. <sighs> Dutch <sighs> breakfast served right out of the Dutch oven. Oh, as soon as I finish breakfast, I want to head over to the forge and check out the Arcanite, see yep. if it's finished cooling off. I have I'm going to take a step outside the tavern and you take a big huff of the smell of the morning. Nice. See what's uh, oh, yeah. it's back, baby. See what's on the air, you know. I'm assuming my alarm did not go off. You swear there's the like this rain coming. You know, you can kind of smell that that that. It's getting a little humid, and there's some clouds forming in the distance. You're like, I might start raining today. I would like to turn Onu into a butt. Okay. I changed the I'll, list. Okay. I'll take a little. Uh, Find a bench somewhere and use. Uh, is it beast dense? Is that what it's called? What? Hold on, I need to find it. Beast sense is when you can see through their creature, right? Yes. Yeah. I will use beast sense, mm -hmm. and then I'll just send only for a little fly around. You know. All right. He's uh, he's zooming. Flying around, um, you're nice. in an area where outside of Stonefall, there's just like nothing for a good amount of distance. Just Flat like fields. Lands, the occasional, like the occasional small hill, but that's about it. To the south, there is uh, a, a lake. You can see some people kind of sitting on the on the lake edge, just, you know, with, with some fishing rods out, just fishing. Uh, but it's quite a it's quite a peaceful and serene sight. Very picturesque. I'm just I'm gonna just sit there mind my own and enjoy the and kind of in you know, mm -hmm. getting a bird's eye view literally. Okay. So, whatever everyone else is up to. Uh, so those that you know uh, are having breakfast at the tavern. Once you're done, uh, what do you do? Uh, you you we went to uh, to check on your arcanite, right? Yeah, I'm assuming my alarm right. did not go off. No, they kind of left it alone. You know? Cool. As you get there, it seems to be cooled off. Uh, it's no longer hot to the touch. Uh, yeah, it seems to have cooled off normally. And... All right, I will uh, pocket that into my bag of holding. Okay. And then I want to hide. Uh, I'll find like a drawer in there somewhere and put like, I don't know, like 40 gold. 40 gold. Ooh. And right. uh, just leave that in his drawer for him. Okay. I guess I'll head all upstairs to see everybody else. <sighs> <clears throat> all right. As you get upstairs, you can see that uh, Brooks, Kess, Daigon, and um, Keller Rose are still sitting around the breakfast table, having finished their food, but just kind of sitting there, just chilling, talking a little bit. So, what's the plan for the day? I mean, do you have more shit to be doing with your the magic stone shit? Um, I, I don't think there's anything more I can do for now. Um, I'm going to need more mm. probably before we really get to use it. I mean, we should probably make tracks at some point. Tracks? Heading in the other direction. Ah, yes. To leave tracks. Um. Well, uh, whenever you're ready, you can head on out. I suppose. I mean, I. I think we all need to have a conversation about what we're gonna do next. But. Uh, well, I thought we were going back to Elzon. No. Yeah, yeah. I suppose we can have this conversation in Elder Long. Uh, well, because well, we need to give that thing to them. I thought we we were maybe going to potential change in plan that you might want to discuss elsewhere, but don't want to... Because trying not to discuss vampire things in front of your dad. like I know when a conversation head. is being had that I'm not a part of, and if you'd want me to just go downstairs and mind my own business, you can just ask. I feel like asking you to go downstairs in your own house is a bit of kidding. Yeah. We can. We can. You never cared about go. manners. Don't start now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right, I'll leave you to okay. it and um, see if I can spot your friends at the tavern and 
send them this way so you can have a talk, yeah? Oh, friends, your friend was looking for you, points at Brooks. Niles. Want to talk about... Oh, that short fuck. Um, what do you want to talk about? Was is... it... That could have been so much worse. Okay. He wanted to talk about... Did you say Fair Bro's Footing? Fair yeah, Bro's he said he wanted to talk about somewhere? Fair Bro's Footing. Yeah. Little bastard. Okay. Yeah. Right, well, whatever you do, just make sure to say goodbye before you leave this time. I'll be, uh, I'll be around. Sure. Yeah, heads downstairs. He crosses the street and, and pokes his head into, uh, the tavern. Morning, Yorick! Yorick's kind of nods <laughs> and looks for, uh, the, the Lazarin and, uh, Davian. I think they're, uh, having a conversation about, uh... What's up next for you guys? And I figured to get you and probably want to be a part of that. Oh, yeah. That's probably, probably a good idea. We probably won't be sticking around much longer. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah, fucking uh... scarf down whatever's left on my plate. Yeah, I'll, I'll just don't me and over. Yeah, they're upstairs. I'll be, I'll be downstairs just in the forge working. Sounds good. So you have some privacy. And he uh, gets back home and begins looking at it. He has like a little notebook. Um, that he he opens a drawer and uh, get, gets a notebook out and, and and starts looking. Just begins it's like daily some orders that he needed to be done by the end of the day and begins working on those and smithing stuff. Very exciting. <laughs> yes, please explain every hey, detail. To the right person. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm not gonna explain every detail. He's smithing. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Uh, what's he smithing how's he doing it right now as you walk is he double in, quenching his steel as you walk in it seems to be that he's like is he layering his steel he's looking at at, at plans of a, of a of a sword of some description with some like intricate uh design um mainly around like the hilt probably for the elvish noble coming yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's it mm, uh, alavantral <laughs> this <laughs> fake this this <laughs> fake elvish noble commissioned a sword yeah 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 <laughs> that would actually be a funny joke to pull. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, we'll, we'll upstairs. head upstairs and uh, join the gang. So that was the plan. I mean... Oh, Bob. Brooks. Some little guy called Niles was... Already mentioned that. Oh, yeah. Fuck it, we'll deal with that later. Uh, we need to figure out how the fuck to get to this place where Ren is, and I don't fucking know how we do that. I might have a way to find out, maybe. I don't know. I've never done it before. Um, I mean, I... There's another I could just ask, right? But I feel like that's probably too risky to just, you know... Because we've met this fellow who wanted, you know, to... wants us there, so I could always just contact him. At least try to. But... It seems a little bit, uh... I mean, if you wanted to talk to us... Direct. It's worth a shot. I mean, if not that, I can I can always ask... I have other ways, other things I could do, and I could try and ask my deity. We need to figure out how to get there. What, does anyone have any ideas of ways that we can figure that out we're so we need to find like the raven's nest or something mm. yeah but where the fuck is that i can ask i can ask the, um, yeah i can pray and ask my god but can ask we, we could ask in deramoth or eldalon as well raven's or nest, i could ask my it? dad or my grandfather Ugh. we i'll look at kess and dagon we probably have someone we could ask. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, so back to Eldlon, where we can figure shit out from there. Yes? No? But the, the main plan is we finding the Raven's Nest, correct? Yeah, but yeah. we don't know where going... it is. We don't know if it's here. We don't know if it's on the new continent. Once you yeah. all kind of collectively decide that you want to find the Raven's Nest... Oh, yeah. fuck. Here we go. All of oh, you man. kind of like 
Oh, feel this blast. Over, overwhelming feeling in your heads. And suddenly, you know exactly where to look. Oops. I hate that. What the f- Sorry. <laughs> where is it, DM? Hold on, hold on, Bitch. Hold on. Up your ass, motherfucker. And where, where is it? Nowhere. Climbs into Brooklyn, it's actually, man. turns out, it's actually just next door. Like, it's straight up just like, Dad's like, oh, the raven It's actually through your closet door. <laughs> Narnia. Narnia. Straight Narnia. up just, oh! Jesus. <laughs> the you horror have to believe of, to go through. The eldritch horror version of it's Narnia. It's a riddle. Just, a raven is a corvid, like a crow. And crow's nest is what Microsoft Sam used to say if you type the word crotch. The answer was in our crotches all along. <laughs> Hi, my name's Vsauce. What the fuck just happened? But that's just a theory. Hi, Michael. Vsauce What's here. happening? Dude, I'm trying to I open the map of fucking Kaldar and I can't find it on my PC. Help. Do we have a uh, pin? I have it, yeah. Send it to me real quick. I don't know why it's not. I can't find it. Send it to me. It's not in the folder that I put it in. Uh, so now I'm like, huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> what were Raggy? Uh, uh, <laughs> Literally, yeah. <laughs> just just okay. hit me with it real quick. Uh, paste it in your DMs. Okay. No, that's the world map. I'm talking about like the map of Keldar. Yeah. The, the, the Keldar province. is the world. Fucking needy Kel motherfucker, nope. dude. Keldar is the province. Kaldalar is is the world and also the empire. Naming conventions, He's baby. Which, Hold He's on. Which, oh, the fucking Legend. on the new uh, continent, the modern, like, where most continent. of your story has. Here, there you go. There's, also, there's there this you one. Yo. Soko, you're very useful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you all suddenly kind of have this like shared um, vision. Um, yeah. Of a place you've been to before. Oh, oh God. God. You start with like this bird's eye view of Eldilon. And it kind of like <laughs> zooms in. And you're on, suddenly you find yourselves on the streets of Eldilon in front of a building. This building is the Carafe. The very fancy. Oh shit, of course it and is. As you enter, like your mind kind of enters, you're led to a staircase um, that goes downstairs. You see a door. And it looks like a very normal door, but you spot that there's a small raven etched in the door frame. And you kind of like nice. snap back out of it and you're back at like the table you were sitting at. Guess we are oh. going to Eldalon. Ha ha, never mind. So it was right fucking there the entire time. At least I didn't have to do anything special to find that I out. I fucking hate this shit. Don't like how it knows that, that we've all agreed. How do you got told die? something on the lines of like, you'll know where to look or something. Yeah, like, we got told, yeah. We got told now that you've kind of like made the conscious decision, like, okay, we're going to start looking. Boom. I need a tinfoil hat to stop them from doing that. Okay. <laughs> lead blind, yeah. actually, so you get lead poison at the same time. <laughs> well, I should probably let the, someone know that we're back on our way to Eldalon because um, sort of need someone to do the teleportation for us. Yeah, well, I mean, we need to get to new. We need to get to Darmouth first for that, though, right? So, well, we can let them know ahead of time. That we're uh, yeah, we could call ahead, and we'll get there in hopefully a day. Oh, it depends on your map. Can you use the same map going backwards? Does it work that way, or is the shortcut something one way? Well, it, it's kind of like. A big old box of maps, right? And I can pull it out once, but sometimes it gets lost in the shuffle. So it's it's a chance if I get it back again. Yeah, it's it sounds like you need to organize better. No, it's like a map. Okay, thing. organize thousands upon thousands upon thousands of maps. <laughs> so by uh, the graphic board coordinates, like it's a fucking coordinate scale <laughs> on the survey map. So we're going back to Eldalon. Yes. Yeah. Cool. By the sounds of it, I need to go to the tavern. Yes. I assume this is probably something you do privately. I mean... It sounds like it was a private venture. Oh, I want to go. Just, uh... We can be nearby, we just can't be oh. right there. It'll be, it, it'll be fine, he's... I mean, he's like me. He's not bad people. He's just like me. 
<laughs> Very true. <laughs> Something about that doesn't quite compute, but... Listen, us. Well then, shall we... Get that done then? Do you need to let him know to go to the tavern? Or does he frequent there quite often? I'm sure he will be there. There's not many other places to be in Stonefall. Fair enough. Is there any other shit we need to do here before we fuck off? Fuck no, we're literally only here for you. <laughs> because I could roll that into saying goodbyes and then getting the fuck out. That sounds like a good plan. Mm. Okay. So then you ask me the sooner, is... the sooner we're on our way, the better. Okay, so that's the last thing on our list. So before we do that. Before we do that, I am... Um... <sighs> Fuck. No, it's fine. It's a conversation that can wait till later. It's fine. I will go do that now. Okay. And I will start to just go outside and... <clears throat> so, I'll wait. Fuck it, I don't want to be inside. I've only go for a little, like, pace walk, but not actually go far. I just sort of just be milling. Have a little look. I am going to go to the Lakeside King. Undisguised? Undisguised. Ooh. As you walk in, Yorick kind of looks at you. You all right? Give him a wave. Is Niles in there? You're welcome, by the way. Hmm? Is Niles in there? He's not. No. Where's, uh, where's Short Dickhead? Uh, I think he's in... Uh, he's supposed to be here in a few minutes. Just want to sit around and wait. Doing something for me. Is Dad... Well, Dad's here, right? No, oh, he's in the... He's in the smithy. Think. No, he is in the... He fucking came in and then went back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh... No, thank How you. much do you know... Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> How much do you know about our mutual friend? Which one? The not short one. The one that I don't know if you know is a mutual friend. Talking about the ugly one, or...? <laughs> I mean, ugly... Oh, fuck. Ugly doesn't narrow it down. Not Zarin. Not Niles. Wow. The oh, one not that's not from not... Stonefall. Right, I've no idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna get involved in that then. Right. Did anyone tell you that we might be dropping something off with you? Right, 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 right. I did get word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that you? Is that supposed to be you? Ah, oh, man, that's a small world, isn't it? Crazy. <laughs> I might be with some people. That's been taken care of. Don't expect anything. Right. Yeah, I got word that I might expect something at some point, but I did, didn't really get told what or by who, but uh, I'll take your word for it. How long have you been involved in that circle? I've got a very good knack for making friends with bad habits. Right. What they call you? Who says I'm that involved? What do they call you? You're not, that, you're not that involved. Why would I be that involved? Am I not? Not as far as I know, because I'm not that involved. Uh, do I think he's fishing for shit? Like, as far as I was aware, he was only like a sort of far distant friend, right? Not like a... Uh, no, the people, no, 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 like, the way everyone that knows about them is involved. You, like, everyone that is aware so of like the he's organization. in, in. Like, he are in. There's certain levels like, of, like, he's in to the point where, like, he doesn't go out on his own doing jobs for them, but he is there to, you know, pass I'm through. I'm gonna look that. to see if I can see a symbol anywhere. Make a perception check. 
Uh, is he talking to Niles right now, or the barkeep? No, barkeep. barkeep. You're all right. Barkeep. The one who we were going to give the yeah. tooth to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, perception? Mm -hmm. Ten. As far as you can tell, no. Fuck, man. I don't know if he's bullshitting me or not. <laughs> okay, Yorick. What do they call you? Oh, I don't know if you're in like that. Oh, <laughs> How did you not you know see what? it coming? I'll let the other two <laughs> talk to you. They <laughs> fuck it. They give a shit. I don't. Right, right. And at that point, he just kind of looks at you and chuckles, and then Miles comes in. Bruxley! Hi. Old friend. <laughs> oh. That's gonna stick. None of you are there, bitches. It's good to see you. Looking all, huh? And he kind of like slaps you in like the, I guess the, the like, <laughs> the, the upper the, like, thigh. Hip. Like, there you go. The hip. You've been eating your greens? It's been a while. Yorick, do you mind giving us a uh, few minutes? Yorick kind of looks, pulls his hand out, and Niles flips him a few gold. Ten minutes. He walks to the kitchen. And uh, Niles kind of hops on top of the bar and sits on it with his, like, his legs crossed. Still working for Zarin? No. Good, he's an asshole. Yes. And, uh, I'm sure you've heard, but I spent some time in Ferris Footing, and, uh, you're, you're quite the hot commodity over there, Bruxley. This, okay. This has been fucking with me for as long as I found out. I didn't care enough because we weren't going there, but. If they're going to use a fucking name that I've set up and spent time fucking forging shit. They could at least use the right fucking appearance. Because I've never once wandered around looking like this, calling myself that. I know, but uh, I believe I have an idea of what's going on. Boxing. And I think you know as well who's behind this. Which cunt? Because there's multiple it could be. What do you have your money on right now? She's about five foot three and a major pain in my ass. Close? No cigar. Oh. I mean, that's good, at least. At least I don't have to get involved with that shit back. Well, as far as I'm aware, she's not involved, but... A certain ugly... Former employer of ours. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's just say that, um... I no longer work for him. Uh, I stopped working for him shortly after you kind of went on and fucked off. Um, he got involved with some people. No, that's never good. He was always... And let's just say that he now takes orders from others. That... Well, he always... He was kind of the middleman, right? He was never really the one in charge, but he had had some say. Now he doesn't have any say at all. Um, but, um, out of character. Well, I think he had a choice. It's a fairly right. recent thing. I don't think. So Zarin's fucked. Yes, he, um, got involved with some people. I don't really know much about them, but they, 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 from what I've heard, um, and what I found out doing some investigating of my own. Was, I, I was there for a job, uh, unrelated, and saw your face on a bunch of wanted posters, and obviously that. But using that other name, and that had me, well, only a handful of people know that name. So I did some stalking, found out Zarin was in town, and I was like, oh, there's no way, that's a coincidence. And followed him around for a few days, and um, he met some interesting individuals. I don't know what How you did to piss it? them off, but... What do you mean? Okay, who's them, first of all? 
Not sure. Uh, mysterious types. Uh, mentioned you. Mentioned a, a, a name. Um, what did I mention? Lazarin. Oh, for fuck's sake! Um, yeah, I'm interesting gonna, uh, people. I'm gonna disguise self mm -hmm. to look like me, but mm -hmm. with a spider web tattoo, a night web tattoo. Is it something? Yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake! Uh, this uh, isn't even my uh, shit. This is his shit that I've been caught up in because I've tried. Well, to clearly they know of you, out. and uh, fuck. I guess you're just a means to an end, then. Oh, fucking! This is the last time I stick my fucking neck out for anyone. Get kicked in the bollocks for it so, every time. So you're welcome for that bit of information. Um, so don't go to, to don't try and go to. F my advice is what I would reckon is that they're just trying to make areas of the world off limits to you and your friends, and their way of making it so that Febra's footing is a hard place for you to go to is. By plastering your face on wanted posters everywhere and, 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 and all that. I don't know exactly what the plans are, but Zarin is heavily involved. I don't know whether it's against his will or not. Uh, he's he's a dickhead, but he's never struck me as a backstabbing dickhead. Um, so, but that's that's what I've learned. And I figured I'd give you a heads up given that you're in town. I mean, I owe you one this... I'm doing my best not to be really fucking pissed off about this, but... Understandable. Who are these people, anyway? What have you done? What has your friend done to piss them off? Because they seemed quite... adamant on... Oh, it's... Wanting to it's real, him. like... Illuminati, once you're in, you're in, shit, like... Like a cult? Like a cult that has... stuck its fucking claws into every official it can. How about stop it there? I, the least I know, the better. Just in case I get caught up in all of this all of a sudden. I just The least I know, the better. Um, just know that any... there's some people with some very interesting tattoos that wanted to, that, that, that mentioned a couple of names uh, among yours and uh, I'm, I suppose just trying to make sure that if you happen to do show up in, in that neck of the woods that they'll have people there ready to take you in as well. That's, that's, that's all I caught from, from that conversation. I would strongly advise against taking any work or getting in any way involved with any people with that tattoo. Noted. They will absolutely slit your throat while you sleep if they decide it's mildly more convenient. Noted. And not just in the, you ran it on them, like the, we decided we didn't want to pay you. Do you know? Good thing I always take my payments up front. I mean, I still wouldn't put it past them, to be honest. Mm. Fuck, man. Right, um, it's good to know. Um, yeah, I just wanted, I figured, you know, old friend and all that, that you know. And that I spotted you with that group of people and a ghost. It's weird. Oh, it, it's... I was, I was drunk, so I wasn't too sure about the ghost, but then... This morning, I had some people overheard conversation of some people. Like, Did you see that ghost last night? And I was like, they, oh, that, that was real. It's a weird group. They've got me saving people, man. Like, it's fucking... You. I... It's fucking weird. Like, we... I've been in, like, fucking... You know, like, forts and meeting rooms with, like, people that run shit. Really? Forts? Oh. As in, like... You know... Official people like t guards. As in, as in like, as in like, I've picked up a few signatures and stamps here and there. Clever, 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 clever. Yeah, I've also um, kind of changed employers. Do I want to know? Uh, there's this organization uh, that that hails from the Expanse down south. It's um. Uh, you've probably heard of them, the Order of the Obscure. Have I heard of them? Yeah. yeah Wait, that rings a bell to me, but... It's yeah, like the it Thieves' does. Guild from Kalsir, essentially, or like that area. Uh, Noronk used to be part I of I haven't them. come across them Noronk in this campaign yet, though, right? That's, You're uh... muted, Soko. No. I don't know what's happening, but... Yeah, they're the ones that wanted to kill Noronk. 
Yeah, Naronk used to be part of them. Uh, right. Uh, Elephantia right, right, used to be right. part of them. Like it's that. It's that. Like it's like the Thieves Guild, but Kalsir. It's the Magic Thieves Guild. Yeah, so they've the uh, you know they pay pretty well, and uh, well, I mean, needed a change of scenery, and um, Brooks will have heard of them. Um, like the, just a, an organization of, of thieves, but from the Expanse instead of Zagali or anywhere else. They have people here as well, but their their hub is like. You've probably at some point or other gotten jobs from Zarin that he got given by them, kind of thing. You know, being the middleman, kind of. So it, it rings a bell, and you've heard of it. You have, uh, you know. What the fuck are you doing that? back here then? Uh, well, I was on a job in 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 uh, Fairbrus Footing for them, and then uh, all of that shit happened, and I figured, shit, um, kind of wanted to let you know about all of that. I figured I'd come here and ask you that if that was a way for you to contact you, and here you were. So, no need for that anymore. That is surprisingly well-timed. It's kind of happened sometimes. Anyway, but it's, it's, so you're like a very good guy now, huh? Uh, good guy. It pays well. Let's leave it at that. They hiring? If you ever get bored of doing order shit, I might know someone else. But it's very, like... It, it's not a job offer you can get far into and then... Oh, that you, sounds... You can't, that sounds you way can't do, too... I say... You don't do commitment. Right, clingy girlfriend. But now I'm good where I am, then, in that case. Plus, you know... The Expanse, pretty cool, it's very warm, but a lot of, yeah, it's man, good. let me tell you about the amount of wealth that is just concentrated in Kalzir. It is insane, the amount of jewelry and, and, and people you can rob night after night and they wouldn't even notice things are gone. It's, it's insane. I never took you as a fan of the warmth. Yeah, I get used to it. You get used to it. Right, well, if you're ever in Eldalon, swing by all the dive bars and try and find me. Sounds good. Perhaps work. You find me going there at some point, you never know. I... I'm not... I, f I feel like I keep telling everyone this. I'm not good at this shit. It's, what? it's good to see that you're in one piece. No one's fucking stabbed you and kicked your head in yet. Comes with the size, very hard to hit. Yeah, you're fucking lucky for that one. <laughs> it's good to see you, Bruxley. I'll uh, I'll be heading out then. I'll I'll give him like a fuck it. I'll give him a hug. Kind of like takes the hug and kind of like gut punches you. You've gone soft. And he, like, turns around and leaves. <laughs> you miserable bastard. Not where it counts. <laughs> At that point, um, <clears throat> Yorick comes out uh, of the kitchen. That little rat still owes me five gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, you will have better chance catching him than I will. Good luck with that. And out then? Yeah. I think, I think we've got places to be and people to beat the shit out of. Uh, all bullshit aside, and he kind of like lowers his shirt. You see that there's like a red lotus tattooed like on the top of his chest. Oh, uh. okay. We need something for the road, yeah. you know, potions uh, or whatever. I have a little storeroom accessible for. I mean, colleagues. potion seller. How am I doing for potions? Actually? Serve me your finest potion. I'm not gonna take the piss I because like the <laughs> but, yeah. I mean. I'm not desperate, but uh, potions, we go through them. If you've right. got, you know, a couple of spare, I don't want to wipe you out. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. The, uh... Some poisons would be wonderful. Well, I've got some of that shit, too. Don't worry. I've got, I've got a bunch. I've got someone honest. in the group to bump off. He's getting too suspicious. He's what? <laughs> He's getting suspicious. 
He's got your dog. He placed the blame on the wrong person. Joke's on you, I'm waiting to break the Archdice <laughs> to all of us die in a second. Oh. And actually, Jax is the, the one who's going to take everybody down. Jax was the traitor, and this was all a misdirect. I'm going to capture <laughs> all your souls in jars, just like the madness. Yep. He's going to turn us all into Warforged. And have my own personal army. Oh my <laughs> god, we'll be like robot slaves in his army. <laughs> As opposed to Cass, who wants to make us into tree people. And then campaign three, Jax is the big bad evil guy with his large army. Okay, he has <laughs> we'll a have new like name. He'll be Lord Emperor. The 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 yeah, yeah, there's all these like urban <laughs> legends of like they say his warforged army is filled with the trapped souls of defeated <laughs> heroes. Dagon could be our force. That's actually a sick campaign. idea for a bad guy. The, uh, he's, he looks at you. Oh, uh, potions, poison, acid. I mean, give me a small selection. Sounds like a shady figure at a club. That's what he is. <laughs> Potion, it's poison, got, acid. He's got a big jacket. That you're Cocaine, and uh, heroin, meth. He, uh, you know, lays out two potions of healing, two vials of acid, and two vials of po just basic poison. Uh, I know. You, I know. They call you the, the tailor, by the way. So it's just fucking with you. I. You know what? When with the tattoo, I gathered. You're doing good uh, at the old, the old make sure you only tell people that you're absolutely sure of that they're a part of thing. You're doing that right, at least. I mean, I knew that you had had conversations. I just didn't know how. I mean, if with with this group, if, if you know about their existence and they haven't killed you, you're in. You know. I mean, you say that half Are of my guys? group aren't in, and but know about the existence. So I've heard of that. Yeah, but uh, they, we're kind of in. I've heard kind of that, of but like you're in on probation. You're on like yeah. that kind of, yeah. trial uh, period. The fact that you, the, the special circumstance, the exception to the rule, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're all being watched pretty fucking thoroughly. You know? I will take the, they're basic potions, right? Yeah. I'll take the two potions and the two things of acid. I won't take the poison. Mm -hmm. I've got poison. It's called tabs. <laughs> Thanks. Because <laughs> Niall's actually fucking... The two tabs of acid. Does Niles genuinely fucking owe you five gold? Yeah, he did, but that's fine. I'll get that little rat some other time. Do they have little smiley faces on? I put five Shut up, I dude! Four... <laughs> I put four fucking... I put four gold down on a bar. I oh, really have gotten five. soft, haven't you? Jeez. Uh, there's a fucking... One gold teach you not to fucking let him drink without paying you first. Fair enough. Yeah, I stash is the... Uh... <clears throat> that the poison again. Oh well, uh, see you when I see ya. Maybe I'll see you at the next uh, club meeting, hey? Wow, well, that's unthreatening. Sure. Oh, I'm just saying, like, maybe I'll see you at the, uh, you know, <laughs> paranoid or something. Is something trying to kill you? What's going on? The fuck, mm -hmm. man! If only you knew. Oh, I think I'm better off not knowing, actually. So Yeah, uh, you don't want to know. Keep uh, your mouth shut, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Have a good one. Yeah, some blue chick trying to learn us the elemental plane, plane of air. But... Now, if you excuse me, I have a cleric <laughs> I need to look at the dragon. <laughs> Got a cleric to be off. Oh, right. Is that code beat for, up. you know? Beat up. Right. Yeah. But, you know, just cleric, hooded individual, you know, could be... To Nympho. Get your fucking hair and checked, man. <laughs> and I walk out. I go back to the house. Okay. Is everyone still just sat in the fucking... I, I guess so. Everyone is kind of so vibrant. No, I've been right? outside. I've been outside. Been yeah, I'm, I'm sat on a park bench, like, fucking... Yeah, I'm sort of just oh. nearby. Oh, yeah. As the owner just flies around. Tinkering. Yeah, I'm right. sort of like I'm not Most like. Is Jax right. like tinkering in the Smith shop? So like you're, you and Kalaros yeah. are kind of both just fucking ding, ding, yeah, yeah, just yeah. working on their own shit. Is nice. it very rhythmic? Got a little insane. ting coming for someone. Ding, 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 ding. Like just like just alternating. <laughs> a bard <laughs> finally has an epiphany nearby, <laughs> just somewhere. Finally goes is Elijah like just outside the Smithy, or is he like big walk? I'm, I'm sort of I'm nearby ish. If there's like a park, say, if Davian's my park bench, I'll be within eyesight of Davian, so I'm not like fucking walking off by myself. I've, and I've no learned that. And fucking my lesson. shit while I'm checked out. Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm just I... like. I'm gonna look at you two and be like, 
I'll go get those idiots and we'll get ready to go. Sounds good. I will go into the... I'll, I'll go into the shop. I'll see that Jax is tinkering. Mm -hmm. Right, you want to wrap that up, Big Man? Because we've got places to be. Yeah, yeah, so I can just put this away and... And then I'll tell you. I'm pushing my bag. Yeah, and... Uh, fuck, maybe five minutes. I'm gonna go get those idiots and then I'll come back down and... Right. Fuck off, I'm not just... I'll be back down in a minute. I'm gonna go upstairs and find Kess and Dagon. Mm -hmm. And jump out the window. Hello. Kess is snooping. <laughs> Where is Kess Who's surprised? Snooping? Who's surprised? Everywhere. <laughs> it's like all the cabinets are open. <laughs> all the cabinets are open. I'm sitting outside the room. She wants to find one portrait of you and your uh, brother and your dad. I'm sitting outside the room and as you come out, I'm just like, without even looking, like I'm just kind of like looking at my nose and I just like point behind me. <laughs> like she's in are there. Are you in your body? Yeah, I'm excited to make dinner or make breakfast. So I'm in my body I'll, and I'm I'll, just I'll pointing just and I'm pointing here. like not helping, not involved, nothing to do with it. Stand I will outside. give Dagon just a just a pat on the shoulder as I go past. I will go in. Guess what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> what? Hmm? I was <laughs> not doing anything. They just like right. all flew open. I don't know what happened. <laughs> right. Fucking. Let's wrap this shit up. And while we do that, we need a conversation. And then we need to go get. Alasrian and Davian, and then we need a group conversation as we fuck off to Adalon. Huh? <laughs> it's fuck. Like, there's 20 things. Right. Fuck it. Don't have time for this. I'm just gonna start shutting cupboard doors. Mm -hmm. okay. Why the fuck are you so invested in uh, me and my dad and our shit? I'm not invested. You're a shit liar. <laughs> I am an excellent liar when I want to be. Okay, you're a shit liar to me. Okay. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know! What do you get out of this? Literally nothing. Then why the fuck are you doing it? <laughs> that is... I don't know! You it's do called... not do things! Unless you get something out of it. I just shout from the hallway, it's called a compulsion, Brooks. What she gets out of it is that she's done it and the itch in her brain goes away. That makes me sound insane. And it's also not true. I didn't mean the... <laughs> I didn't mean the rummaging around, the fucking invasion of privacy. I just put that down oh, to the fact that's what that I you thought don't you were have talking any about. social understanding of privacy. Which makes sense, knowing how you grew up. Why are you doing a nice thing for me? Am I not allowed? When have you done nice things for people without getting something back? Like, that is the core of your vibe. Like, that is what you do. You make me sound like some kind of trickster fey creature. You are literally a fey creature. <laughs> but not one of the bad ones. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. And I'm the one getting shit for going soft. Okay. Oh. I'm not gonna pretend to know. I saw I... that it was easy to fix the problem, so I helped. You helped. You did a thing for someone else that you got nothing from. Yes. This is new. It's called personal growth. Leave it alone. I never right. thought, understood Kess to be so transactional. Kess is always it's been chaotic. Yes, this is literally the secrets for secrets, bitch. What do you mean? Did somebody say transaction? <laughs> <laughs> Do we need a contract? Right. <clears throat> so. Right. You I... Got the words. I appreciate what you were trying to do. And succeeded. 
Things are better now. Sure. <laughs> Things are better now. There you go. You're welcome. I, I'm really not fucking good at this. We need to stop doing this whole fucking giving a shit about each other because it's fucking difficult. Right. I never said anything. Oh, by the way, <laughs> Yurik's like, Yurik's in in. He's not just someone that we could drop the thing off. He's like, has a tattoo and. They're gonna let us drop that thing off with him. I'm assuming he would be in in. That's a rather significant. Well, appa drop. Apparently, so apparently everyone that knows, apart from our fuckheads that yeah. we bring with us, are in in. Yeah. So those three are the only people that aren't in that know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. I love how this? in unison you guys were. That was so <laughs> yeah. beautiful. Perfect. Because now Brooks looks so stupid. It He's does. like, can you guys believe this? And you're both just Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> These two have been doing this a lot longer than Brooks. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's oh, just um, it beautiful. Side note, uh you know what? No, I'll tell everyone at once. It'll be easier. Let's go grab the other idiots. Uh I need to say goodbye to my dad. Okay. I want to say goodbye to your dad. Your dad's cool. I'm gonna refrain from saying something mean about yours. She's gonna hit on your dad. She's gonna fuck your dad, bro. It's gonna be stepmom. <laughs> Brooks is dead. <laughs> 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 the ultimate prey. Kess is gonna, Kess is gonna become the Brooks' ultimate stepmom. Prank. Bro, we already, we already killed Brooks' real dad. We took his hand. <laughs> <sighs> oh, they do. That's the ultimate fuck you. That's like the <laughs> best fuck you. Guess good pull. Broxley, can't I you mean... see? You're just not the boy for me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he'll um, retaliate. You know, um, we can go to the Faye one. <sighs> All right. Broxley's so, uh, dad. let's go downstairs. Makes Jax is packing shit up. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> As you all kind of gather downstairs, uh, Gallo's just gonna. Well, it's nice meeting you all, and, uh... Well, don't be a stranger if you're ever... I don't really think you're ever going to be in this area again, but... If you are... Might be moving soon, but, um... I'll, I'll send Brooks a letter. I know how to reach him now, so... And Thanks I might the take world. a... Oh, wait, no, I'm out in the porch. Might take a vacation to Aldilon and, uh, see what that's about, but... That's a great idea. Well, I've got time now, um... I said, if you learn more about Ren and where he's at, I I'm, I'm, would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit worried now that I know a bit more about <clears throat> what you told me. So keep me in the loop on that. And um, thank you. It's been unexpectedly lovely to have some guests. It was nice to see you again and like meet you properly. That's weird. He told me about that, and I, I recognize you now. It's been a while, but... Yeah, I feel really bad about that. I, I kind of forgot. I normally don't really keep, you know, a vivid memory of any of my customers, but... It's a strange coincidence. I still have the knife. Treating you well. Yeah. Very good. Uh, thanks for the help um, last night as well. Oh. No problem. I figured, um, you know, have someone look at it properly, and uh, if you're going to be traveling around with my son, at least I'd like you to be in the right state of mind and not kill him. Because that's something that only I get the satisfaction of doing. Uh, to be fair, I didn't try to kill him. Well, I mean, once, yeah. you, once you would have gotten rid of Kess, who would be next on your list, you know. Hmm. Madness kind of works that way. Probably right? it never, it never safe. I would <laughs> prefer that we didn't get rid of it. So let's just leave it there. Aw. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Well. I just give a funny like I knew it. Look as Brooke says that. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Stay safe, and uh, well, perhaps I'll see you when I do end up visiting Eldilon. Are we? Fuck it, we'll just get it over with, and I'm gonna hug him. He hugs back. That felt weird. That was fucking awkward, but Didn't hey, like you that. Did it. Look at us. 
Well, at least I'm not angry with you anymore, so there's that. Oh, I'm sure I'll, I'll give you sure something I'll to find be angry something. about. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something to do. Most likely. But at least I know where you live now, or where you're staying, so... <laughs> we travel a fucking lot, to be fair. That means that you're not there when I plays. make fun of you in front of your new friends at the giant. I oh, still yes. don't think that you're gonna necessarily enjoy it there, but go for it. How come? It's great. Oh, you don't think long. that. <laughs> no, because that's weird, because... You know what? I'm not going to go into that. We'll do that on a Discord. It'll be Eskimo brothers with your own adoptive father. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, take care all. And I'll see you, see you when I see you. I will... I will write to you within the next... I don't know, fucking month. Oh, don't make promises. And if I don't, then I'll let... Dagon punch me in the jaw. Well, he's looks, also looks at Dagon. Make sure, make sure you do that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's a, it's a less of a threat now than it would have been a while ago. I, I can't punch as hard as I used to. Oh, you but... carry that. that Sorry, Dagon, you can just possess one of us and fucking crack it. True. Just hit him and make. You're not there, Dagon. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Still outside. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Right, Can and uh, he kind of like says Actually, goodbye. How, and... I don't know how long beast sense last. You all take your leave. Say goodbye. I've stashed 10 gold in the pantry. So this man. And I stashed 40 gold in one of his drawers. Did you? He, he yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this man's going to be night. fucking loaded, bro. He's like, where the fuck did all this money come from? <laughs> um, we gather, so we gather the two nature idiots outside. Mm -hmm. Nature, nature idiots. idiots. I want a oh, Wait, why is he a nature idiot? Because I said so. Shut fuck up. <laughs> All right. So, I'm telling Bryce next. Right, so, uh, for the sake of brevity, like, yep. do we want to have? Fuck it. We'll do the conversation quickly because we've got time, right? We've got time. Two minutes. Few minutes, and Laura has to. Give a few minutes. My my food's yeah, downstairs, just... and I'm real hungry. So, uh. uh Long story short, uh, the reason that I'm wanted in Fairbrew is because of Elazarin's friends. Oh, good. Uh, oh. That makes sense. Apparently, that's their way of making it difficult for us to go there, so there's probably shit there they don't want us to I was going to say, if someone doesn't want you to go somewhere, it's because that's where they keep but, uh, the good stuff. Or it's a really good bait slash trap because they want us to go there. Or both. Wait, thanks for th No, because they're doing shit there. They're doing shit there. They have oh, okay. people there that are very good at, you know, like B&E and borrowing things. Uh, well, we have a little more pressing of an issue. No. Yeah, absolutely. I just want it to be out there. I want everyone to know that the reason why I'm wanted in a place I've never been is Alazrin. So, actually, not my fault, by the way. So I don't know if we were hanging did around it... together. Oh yes, great. Right. So <laughs> because we happen to be in the same city together, and then all of this has now transpired, and the grand fate has decided this, it's my fault, is it? You could have left whenever you wanted, bro. I tell you what, I'll make you a deal, Alasrin. No. I won't hold it personally. I'm not making deals with you. If you stop <laughs> fucking wandering off on your own. That's not happening. So Why? I'm not making deals with a con man, so I'm good. <laughs> what the fuck? I've, I've only conned you a couple of times. <laughs> More than just me. I'm gonna whip out a map and let's <laughs> see oh. what it happens. Let's go. Let's go. That's a natural 20. Oh, all right. Yeah. Say that you, uh, we'll be there added. in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it will take you instead of the two days to get back to Derrimuth, it'll take you a day. Um, and shall Ooh. we say that for the sake of not having another travel session next week, that we you make it to Derrimuth, you talk to whoever you need to talk mm -hmm. to there, and uh, you teleportation circle and you find your way back in Eldilon. Uh, so we'd arrive in Derrimuth one day from now, yes. and then arrive in yep. Eldilon the same, same day, day as that yeah. day. The same day. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll say that uh, you hit the streets of Eldilon as you uh, exit. Um... Actually, no, we'll say that you kind of like, we'll pick up next week as you just got teleported, because the teleportation is yep. 
towards where the official people are so you probably have that conversation first so yeah we'll say that okay. um oh. as you head into the teleportation uh circle we'll pick it up next week and next week we'll pick up uh right there in Eldilon to kind of you know yeah. have to yeah. fucking back home. role play out every a fucking lot of story session. threads to tie up in Eldilon well, i like travel i like duke yeah, but singing don't I don't like okay. having so many travel sets. And like the last few sessions but oh, have fucking been... giving a shit across the country then. <laughs> Kill him. Who is this guy? Yeah, rocks for rocks for <laughs> Kill him. the teleport. Who is the, who the is teleport... this guy telling me how the to do it? The teleport like fucks up and we get half of Brooks still right, in Darmouth, half of Brooks in From now on, this is a travel down. campaign. We're gonna become postal workers. So who the fuck is this guy? Do we take him already? <laughs> All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching and all that. And uh, we'll see you here on, uh, we'll do a, th you know, Discourse on Thursday. Uh... I can actually do it this week because I hey! technically oh! don't work. Whoa, so Discourse, Discourse with Soko. So, so as long as my one of my finals is not during Discourse, I can do it. All right, Discourse with Soko asterisk. Uh, <laughs> anyone else feel so inclined to do a You've nerdy? You've not done it in a little while. Huh? Bellamy. Bellamy. I haven't done it for a bit, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. I'm Bellamy. busy this week. Dukelton? Wanna... Dukelton? Yeah, then if Duke, I'm not, if Duke I'm Duke not then at the studio. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll have that set up yeah. for now, and then if anything changes, uh, you know, let me know and see what happens. Hi. Thanks for Actually, watching, everybody. Brother. And uh, yep, we... catch you next week for another DS, of course. Uh, of course. The Dungeons and Sunday, the thirtieth. Uh, yeah, no, I think that'd be fine. Yeah. I don't think there's any reason for us not to play D D that day. So yeah, next week. Mm. Thanks for watching. Appreciate yous. Take care, y'all. Later. Bye. -bye. Later. Scoot, 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 scoot.